Okay, I, Perry Caramello, and don't have my hat on. My hat. Hi. Okay, that's rolling. Yes, 35 seconds. Hi, Barry Caravello. I'm in my kitchen. Okay. That is being uh, sitting right there. And I'm going to turn this to me over there. Because I will be filling this with 7-Up. Okay, set that in my sink. I don't get it all over the place. And it's going to fill up with 7-Up. So this one was going to get filled. Seven up is coming up. Here we start coming up. Coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up, 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 This. Uh, it's got 7-Up in there and you can see the water or the 7-Up you know in, in there as it's floating around and you see the way it's floating around so I'm going to put the top on right now top is on I'm going to put this back on the dehumidifier which I don't need here in LA but they, they want me to Try it out anyway. Uh, let's try it here in LA. Where you don't need it, but do it anyway. Alright? Dehumidifier, Los Angeles. Place doesn't get that humid. That's why I'm not moving to Florida. Never will move to the state of Florida. I won't even enter the state of Florida. That's how I hate the state of Florida. Because of the humidity there in Florida. Got it? Florida is out of the question, out of my visitation facility rights. Yeah, I have a family in Florida, but that's family from my mom's side and whatever. Okay. Now, um, when the stream starts is when we will be turning these, these two on right next to each other, and then the third one is on a um, food on a food table right behind where I sit is the big one that's got water in it so okay okay break your bell two thumbs up Let's rock this roll. time I'm gonna drive myself to the nut house and say handcuff me strap me up in uh, 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 a straight jacket and lock me in a padded cell cause I'm going out of my mind Good morning or good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's Perry Caravelle Live. I've now got the microphone on and welcome everybody to another edition of Perry Caravelle Live. Uh, I'm um, I'm drinking this Skittles flavor. It's a little I I, I can't stand the 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 sugary not fruity flavor Perry Caravelle Live. It's it's Got this skanky uh, candy flavor that I'm just not interested in. I prefer a blueberry or a cherry or 
or an apple flavor or a banana flavor, but this sweet, 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 stupid Skittles flavor is gross, and I can't stand this Skittles flavor. But it's a C4, which is an energy drink, so it's 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 uh, good to keep my eyes open. Is the reason why I'm drinking it, but it's ugh. it's like you know when you the first time you're a little kid and the first time you've ever drank an alcohol, and you get that alcohol like like sharp bang in your mouth and you're not used to it. You're like I don't know, ten, twelve, thirteen, fifteen. You you know when you're a kid and it's 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 the 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 kid era, the first time kids have ever had alcohol. Sometimes with your parents, sometimes not. Sometimes with friends. I think I had a first shot of wine with my mom and dad when I was a little kid. Um, God, I don't even remember how old I was. Uh, either five, six, or eight years old, something like that. First time I've ever had a little sip of wine with family but um of course it was with family it was not with strangers and then when i was um 15 in palm springs uh, a couple of friends of mine and i uh got uh, some jack daniels <sighs> that's like the ultimate alcohol drink to me i don't know there's other people that might have other alcohol drinks that are that are Stronger than Jack Daniels, but to me, Jack Daniels is the top of the list for going ultimate, ultimate nuts when you want to get drunk. And uh, we had we had a quart and a pint, meaning the the uh, seven fifty and the one liter bottle. I know I know sizes because I used to be a, a liquor clerk. Yeah, the the seven fifty bottle and the and the one liter bottle of uh, Jack Daniels. Um, we didn't have the two liter bottle. Maybe we did. I don't remember. I think it was the. I think there was two bottles, two or three bottles of Jack Daniels, for myself, my friend Eric, my friend John, and three girls from Sherman Oaks. That were in. Uh, that, that that were. Um, I guess family friends. Their family, meaning meaning uh, Eric Bates's family, um, friends from Sherman Oaks. I had a crush on uh, two of the two of the three girls. Um, I was fifteen. It was something something young and stupid when we were kids. It was over spring break. Got back in like nineteen seventy eight or seventy nine. If I remember correctly, something like that. 78 or 70, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First time I ever got really drunk was that time. Drunk or stoned. First time I ever got got into doing weed, too, I think. I don't remember. But those were the days. Those were the days when you are a kid, you know. Those were fun. But uh, uh, this heat, not really to get into weather matters, but this heat this entire week has just been so bloody hot or so freaking hot. It's just, ugh. I don't even want to go outside to check the mail. That's how hot it is. And I mean, my mailbox is right here underneath a, a building. In the building. When you got to walk out to the curb to check your mail, it's it's like you got to make sure you got shoes on or something under your feet so you're not like walking out, 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 out every step you make to go to your mailbox. <laughs> uh, I don't need to get into weather matters. It's not a weather matters stream. This is, I don't know, what day of the week is this? What day of the week is this? Oh, shoot. I can't even tell what day of the week it is. Um, Monday. Yeah, it's Monday. Tell me, me. Thanks, stupid. 
You stream two days a week, Monday and Friday. And Friday's a long stream, and Monday's a short stream. Duh! Wake up! Today is Monday. Yeah, okay. There's Skittles in the C4 that I'm drinking. All right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like the flavor of Skittles, but I like C4. <laughs> Uh, have a little water to go with that. I, I think now would be I a good time for me to jump in. Sorry about that. You want to always a good time for me to jump in. Pardon me. I said if you want to lower your speakers, I'm getting a little reverb. Talk to me so I know how low to go. I'm talking to you now. Can you hear me? A little louder. Okay. Um, I'm still talking. That good? Yeah, that's that's good. Okay, a uh, couple of things. Um, first of all, the opening video, that was all Perry. Perry did that on his own. I didn't ask him to take a video of the, um, uh, you know, pouring into the uh, humidifier. Um, Perry figured out the humidifiers this week, as he promised he would, right? I don't know, did that... Uh... I said I promised, and I did, and I went through. Right. And I filmed it. All of it. Yeah, baby. So did you read the manuals or did you just kind of figure it out? I, I read the manuals. Okay. Well, good. That's, that's exactly what we wanted. So if you didn't join us on Monday, there is a stunt offer that Perry accepted where he, he's been sent humidifiers recently on mailbag. He has three of them. And actually, I'm doing something that is not allowed to be done in the, in the humidifiers, which is putting in a soda, meaning 7-Up. Spoiler alert. I was going to get to that. Um, we... So he, you get three humidifiers, one of which, uh, two of which filled with water, one of which filled with 7-Up. As you saw at the beginning, Perry did that on his own. Now, what you didn't see is uh, after the video was filmed and he sent it to me and I'm loading it into our system here and Perry and I are on the phone together uh, before the show, all of a sudden I hear Perry and I'm like in the kitchen myself. I'm making a cup of tea and I'm trying to you know, get into the, the, the groove of uh, getting on. Uh, we also had some uh, tech issues. Uh, Perry's microphone wasn't working, blah, blah, blah. I won't bore you with that. But anyway, I'm making some tea. I'm like putting the tea bags in and all of a sudden I hear, God damn motherfucker, son of a bitch, son of a bitch. God damn it, stop, stop. And uh, I didn't know what was going on. And I'm like, whoa, uh, what what's the deal here? Where This is like, five minutes to to the top of the hour we're supposed to go on and apparently there was a uh, seven up uh mishap with the uh humidifier that had the seven up uh oh to be fair i should say to perry uh to to you guys that i said to perry to make sure the seven up uh humidifier can at least be seen on the stream he had it kind of tucked away in the kitchen where it can't be seen i asked him to move it to the counter and i guess doing that well perry why don't you take it from here why don't why don't you explain what was going on because i still don't understand it the humidifier that I was using that I put 7-Up in leaked everywhere. So um, I, I still don't understand why that happened. I, I don't understand why the water just went everywhere. And water like, slash 7-Up. I was like, Perry, okay. let's just get this done. Uh, you know, you can clean it after the stream. Fuck you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it was like... It was. I'm sorry, you guys couldn't yeah. hear that. I could. I couldn't get on the air. I couldn't get it on the air. But uh, yeah. Uh, by the way, Perry. The other thing I was going to mention is, as good as the job that you did filming that video, could you at least turn off your blaring TV in the background, like uh, when you do those videos? I don't remember. Right. Well, your TV was on. I mean, you watched the TV like at excruciatingly loud levels. Whatever. But. And, uh... If it was on, it was probably still on while it was while it was right. Bitching. But I'm saying, if you're going to record a video to be played on your stream, you might want to make sure you don't have anything like loud. Oh, the volume, the volume on the TV was not loud enough to be recorded. Well, it on was me. because I heard. How how else would I know the TV was on? Because I heard it through the video. Okay, then 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 the video camera is incredible uh, taking video. Okay. Um, well, so, hey, let's get back to the uh, the offer. So, how many humidifiers do we have running right now? We have th 
three humidifiers running right now. Well, what, wait, what, they're not running; they're plugged in. Right. Well, we got to start them running. So, what's the deal? Did did do we have to redo uh, the seven up one? Well, I had to fix it. Yeah, we had to. I had to fix it. So I'm I'm still in the process of uh, fixing that. Well, let's fix it now because here here's let me don't don't dart up just yet. But here's what's going to happen. So again, this is for people that you know. Most of you, I'm sure, don't don't. Uh, even if you were with us on Monday, you probably don't remember all the ins and outs. Um, <coughs> so Perry has to run three humidifiers, two filled with water, one filled with seven up. Uh, I'm we're altering it slightly from Monday since this is a shorter stream. After one hour has passed, if you would like to turn on, turn off one of the humidifiers, you're Gateway to doing that is eating one handful of Skittles, okay? Now, Perry got a lot of Skittles in the mail on Monday, and despite my best efforts to tell Perry not to throw those away, guess what Perry did? did? it anyway. Threw them away anyway. Skittles are not allowed in my home. Uh, well, they are allowed when we have an offer where they come into play. Uh, you know, if you want to keep them running the entire stream, you might not have to do that. But anyway... Um, I think there's a uh, delivery on the way if it's not there already. But let's uh, do this. This is the only bag of Skittles that are in my house. Right, we're not going to do those. We're going to get you know OG, uh, you know American Skittles, uh, you know red bag Skittles. Whatever. Okay, so why don't we fix the Seven Up uh, humidifier? Can we get more Seven Up in there? Uh, if you could do it on camera, that would be great. Okay, so you could see the one. Um... So, so let me just explain, Perry. The one behind you on the coffee, t uh, that uh, TV tray, that is one. And then the, there's that this white one. one that's that on, one is over on the dining room right? table. I can see that. Very good. You see it? I do. I do. I see it. Very good. Okay. Let's let's turn those on first, those two. Let's at least get those running. Now, the black one seems to be the nicest one. That's right there. I would I would keep that one. All right, now turn the white one on, and then let's get the seven up uh, filled in the other one, please. Okay. Somebody said Skittles is releasing a mustard flavor. Ooh. I don't even know what's a joke anymore because I see things sometimes where like there's a Lay's bag and it's like uh, hard boiled eggs uh, flavored Lay's, you see that and better? Lay's are so disgusting. I don't even know if it's a joke at this point. What's that, Perry? You see this one better? Yeah, I see it fine. As long as they're in camera range, it's that that's the only prerequisite. Now this one now. Yeah, this one, and this should be on the counter where the microwave is, technically. Just so we could see it. Or at least or at least show proof of life that it's operating. Um Walk us through it if you could. Alright, I am I am I don't have a camera in here. Mustard Skittles are real. Okay, I'll we'll have to get those. No, I know you don't have a camera in there. I'm just saying, can you verbally ex explain what's going on? Can you pu yeah, maybe uh, pour the seven up on camera or something? Okay, this is a, this is a bitch. All right, hold on, hold on. So, you know, guys, it was either a choice of getting this 100% ironed out and ready to go at the start of the stream, which would probably make our start time, like, closer to uh, noon Pacific, and then, uh, or uh, working out some of the kinks on the air. So, obviously, I opt opted to uh, work out some of the kinks on the air. Okay. But give the man credit. He did figure it all out. He said he wouldn't. He did. Uh, we're just having a little issue with this last one. So Perry, I, when I say if you can walk us through it, hang I mean, on, hang on. Right? Can you talk? Hang on, I, I got it. I right. Well, that's I what I'm asking. It. I'm asking you to verbally communicate. Hold on, there, boy. 
I'm asking you to verbally communicate. Yeah, yeah. Right. right. I, I get it, Perry, but can you communicate what's going on exactly since we can't sure, see it? Once again, Perry, we don't know what's going on, so if you could describe the scene. You know, like you're a radio guy okay. broadcasting a sport. Moving this! That was the thing, that was the problem. Moving this to, um, right over here. Yeah, right. That, that's what I want. Exactly. Like where the David statue is. Right over here. Hang on. Okay, this is good. Can you see this on top of here? I can see it, yeah. That's it. I can see it. As long as as long as I could just see it, I don't have to see the whole you thing. See it better? Perry, that looks like it's filled really to the brim. I you know Is that good? It's filled a little high. I I I don't know. I guess it's fine. I I, I don't want people getting mad at me that I'm trying to you know save a disaster, but uh, it looks like it looks fine. Just put it put it in and plug it in and let's get going. Oh boy. Humidifier spraying seven up. That's gonna be something. The uh the wild and crazy mind of uh our producer Jim. Okay, turn it on does not have boundaries. Okay. So this one's now turned on. It's on top of the... Uh... I see it. I got it. Very good. You see it? Very good. Okay. That's on. That's on. They're all three on. Okay. And the black one all looks great. All three are on now. Okay, uh, while you're on your feet, Perry, I believe there is a delivery at the door. If you could just get that and bring it in, please. Thank you kindly. What? Delivery at your door. Thank you. That's what we need. Bag of your stupid Skittles. Oh, it's your stupid God Skittles damn today. It. And by the way, somebody has spent money on that because you threw away the Skittles that you were supposed to keep from Monday. What? I said somebody had to spend money on that because you threw away the Skittles that you were supposed to keep from Monday. That I don't want to have in my home. Right, but you were paid to have for the stunt today. So okay, now we have okay, okay, okay. Uh, what is this stupid thing? A child, a child's game. Read it. What does it say? What does it say? Bean boozled. Alrighty. What does that mean? Jelly bean boozled. Can I see the people, the caricature of the people having a great time on that? That right there. Uh, oh, now it's facing you. Bean uh, boozled. Yeah, I want to see. That Turn one. Oh, look, again. At the, look at those bunch of friends having a great time. Wow. Either a family or friends, whatever. Yeah. Bean boozled. <laughs> yeah. They need a few other nationalities in there to fill it out. But uh, that looks like fun. I don't know what that is, but uh, maybe we could play it. Um, what else did you get in the bag? Okay, there's this. There's this. There's this. Bag that I will not eat. In garbage. And two more of those. Yeah. Three bags of Skittles to make okay. sure I, I keep I think, Skittles I think we got, home. I think we uh, got okay. the Skittles that we needed. Thank you. 
All right, so I guess it's to make sure I keep Skittles in my home. Well, Perry, you, you only eat, or eat Skittles when you're pretty much paid for it. It has comes into an offer. You don't have to open it right now. Now remember, uh, the clock started about five minutes ago. So in an hour, if you want to turn one of the humidifiers off, you have to eat a handful of Skittles to do it. That, that's all. What do you mean, if I want to turn one of those off? Do I just keep them on during the entire stream today? If you want, Perry, but if they're gonna get, you know, it's gonna get a little uh, weird in there if you keep them on the entire stream. Why am I not seeing smoke from that one? That desk one is definitely on. They're all on. Every one of them is on. Just, just confirm to me that they're on. It's not that I don't believe you, but this one's on. I know that one's on. That's a big one. So that it's one's the white one with the uh, blue. The I blue, see the light uh, is on. Yeah, just put your hand over it. Make I... sure it's actually steaming out. And I, do, I do see a little bit of steam from the Seven Up one. And this one is a uh, piece of shit. Is it on? Yeah. Okay. Here's how you know it's on. The blue light is on. Right, but it's not. Why isn't it like not bubbling or making any kind of vapor? It's bubbling, all right. It's it is bubbling. Okay, I might ask you to check that again in another twenty minutes. Oh, I see. Okay, so the bean boozled thing is like uh, with with uh, jelly has jelly beans in it. Okay, all right, that's interesting. Okay, uh, I want to get to a couple other things before we start uh, into uh, Mailbag. It is Mailbag Friday, by the way. You should say that when you usually start the stream. Well, sorry about that, That's okay. folks. Mailbag That's Friday. I want to say, I want no, to say a no, couple of things. No, it's not Monday. What? What did you say? Hold on. Oh, today is Friday. Oh, Jesus, I thought it was Monday. You were really operating Friday. under the impression that it was Monday? Bam. I don't know why I thought it was Monday. We don't go on at 11 a.m. on Monday. That's right, Stooge. <laughs> so, right. yeah, it's Friday. Anyway, uh, I was going to get into... Uh, uh, you have been getting rave reviews, Perry. And it is from... I have on what? <clears throat> What's that? Surprise, surprise, I'm getting rave reviews on what? On the video that you took on your own from Gino's Gino's East that you did uh, this past Sunday. Now, if Bam. you don't know, so Perry went to Gino's East just on a whim, just to eat on Saturday, and he was greeted by a waitress who who not only recognized Perry but said, "Hey, I was in your movie, Windy City Heat," and they had a little conversation. And Perry thought, like, "Oh, I should get a hold of her and ask her some questions," but she had already left. So. Uh, Perry went, went back, back the, next, the day. next day. He went back the next day, not with any, without any prompting from me to be like, "Oh, you should go back there and get that." Not only did he go back, he brought his gimbal, he brought his dedicated camera phone, and he went there with the purpose of filming a video for Patreon. This is the gimbal, right? This thing is the uh, little little camera. You put your phone in here, and here's the phone that you use for the gimbal. And I'm charging it right now, uh, slowly. I'm doing the, a great uh, job. So, and the reason I'm I'm spending so much time like talking about this is it was very unlike Perry because Perry usually mails it in. As as we all remember, uh, over the break, he took a uh, video of uh, himself, um, well, getting snowboard lessons. Should I do I need do I need to play that again? Where Perry uh, thought he had great. Perry, he, he came to me and said, I got some great pa Patreon content today. Uh, I uh, didn't want to say anything, but I took a snowboarding uh, lesson, <laughs> you know, and then... Uh, yeah, went, went to a snowboarding school. We saw, we saw how that was. We saw how that went down. That wasn't uh, very good. Let me see. It's the first time on the snowboard, and oh. uh, I'll be falling a lot when I go snow skiing this, this winter. Well, isn't the whole point... Just like... Is, isn't it the whole point is to actually snowboard and not fall? Isn't that the point? Well, uh, you learn how to not. You learn how to snow ski or snowboard. It's learning how to the, the basics. When you start skiing, it's going to take time. Right. When I started skiing in '84, I fell a lot in '84. Yeah. 
I fell a lot. I'm not going to deny it. The first, my God, the first year I was falling a lot. I got better at it, but I fell a lot the first year of I, snow skiing. You're lucky, Perry. I can't find that video right now. Anyway, uh, so that was his idea of, of a Patreon video, right? So then he, he goes and gets this. And I'm just saying, you know, obviously when Garrett's with him and they do some kind of piece where they go out or whatever, it's very high production value because Garrett knows how to get stuff. I mean, I know that firsthand because even when we were in Pottstown, I mean, I think Garrett still has about four hours of footage from the East Coast trip that we still haven't put out yet because he's he, uh, he takes video when you don't even know he's taking video and he knows how to capture moments and knows how to edit them and knows how to edit comedy and they come out really good. That's not necessarily a credit to Perry. That's a credit to Garrett. This time, Garrett did make it a little better. Like he, he snapped it together and like put in some footage from Windy City Heat and he did elevate it. But this is mostly all Perry because even when you watch it, uh, he's like, Perry's concerned about the lighting. He's like, uh, this lighting isn't uh, very good. We need to change this. And he's getting a position where there's better lighting. Um, he kind of knew when to leave people alone like when he was talking to them and uh, he knew how to ask permission to people if they could be on camera, like rather than just guerrilla style where he just you know gets in your face and gets things. I, I, very good angle. So anyway, that's on Patreon. That went on our Patreon uh, yesterday if you want to check it out. And I'm just saying a lot of the people on Patreon were, uh, were raving about it. I'll... I'll, I'll uh, some of the reviews were like, wow, Perry killed it. Great job, Perry. Um, Thank you, guys. Um, uh, Lil Gaper said, please don't let Perry around women anymore. That power lady who got at the bar was just trying to work. <laughs> uh, and this creepy gobble was harassing her. Okay, you know, not everyone's going to be a fan. Um, great job, Perry, somebody else says. Perry was very engaged on camera. Uh, shame he isn't like this on stream days. That's uh, from Georgia. <laughs> She's Yeah. <laughs> But I think you're getting better on stream days. Very cool that he ran into her. This is an awesome video. So anyway, this this is on Patreon. I'll show a little uh, preview of it. But Perry, I just, you know, I, I, I can come down hard on you sometimes where you, you mess things up. So it, it's only fair that I celebrate you when you do things uh, right. And this was... Uh, well, it's really kind of surprising uh, to know that uh, Dana from Gino's East was the young lady, the first young girl <laughs> in Windy City Heat that was actually flirting with me the most. She was throwing me kisses and so here, here's to... a little preview. I'm just digging in and swallowing like we're crazy. I have just arrived at uh, Gino's East. Let me set this in. There's Dana. I'm one of your jiggly girls. What was your experience like on Windy City Heat? I'm calling Dana Mama D already. Mama me, I <laughs> you know, Mama G, Gina Carano, Mama G. Beach brew, yeah, I like that. It's got a very good flavor to it. No, I'm crying, so <laughs> <laughs> uh. I'm so happy for you by eating a delicious meal. And, uh, you folks have a lovely one, and I will see you on Cracker Roll Live. Thank you. We are out of here. Thank you. Good night. Well, great job, Perry. The whole video is about 45 minutes long. It's a it's a really uh, long video. It, it, anyway, I don't, I don't want to oversell it, but uh, thanks to everybody who signed up for Patreon. Uh, more cool stuff coming to Patreon. Oh, a very, very uh, interesting episode of the Comedy Purak uh, Resurrection is coming out tomorrow. And I'll, I'll tell you the guests on that one, Perry. Let me know if these any of these people ring a bell to you. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Okay. Here is a Comedy Purak Resurrection uh, from December 1st, 2001. The, your guests are Joey Gaynor, Swan, okay. who is a Robert Plant impersonator. Right. And Steve Pearl. Do you know these people? Like, who are they? Stephen Pearl is the comedian that passed away 
that is on the uh, wall outside of um, uh, um, uh, Gina, shit, outside the firehouse wall. No, wait, Stephen's not dead. What am I talking about? Yeah, I was gonna say I don't think he's dead. No, oh, Stephen's not dead. It's the other kid that passed away. I forgot his name. But uh, yeah, Stephen Pearl hangs out at the comedy store a lot. Were you friends with him? Acquaintances. I mean, I knew Steven. Steven knew me at the comedy store and stuff. I wasn't really good. I wasn't good, good friends, but I mean, we knew each other. We knew of each other at, at, uh, in comedy. Anyway, uh, if you want to... I talked about this episode on... Um, on Monday on After Hours, uh, if you want to go to my YouTube channel and, and watch that After Hours, you can. I did play some clips and explain. Can't really get into too much of it here, uh, for obvious reasons. But um, it, it, this is my Swan. this is my favorite episode of Comedy uh, Pyrrhic Resurrection to to date. It's very interesting. Uh, it has some a big three history in it uh, subtly. Uh, for people that are, are fans of Big Three, it's just uh, it's very it's a very interesting time capsule episode. Uh, even if you just sign up just to watch that and then cancel, I, I, I would recommend it. Uh, so that's Patreon.com. Wait, so sorry, you... Perry, I'm literally in the, in the middle of promoting I'm your sorry, Patreon. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Patreon.com slash Perry Caravello. We try to put a lot of exclusive stuff. That's where you're going to get all the Monday streams. And you wonder, oh, why aren't the Monday streams on YouTube? Well, they're on uh, Patreon. And you can watch them uh, via YouTube via a private link. Don't get me into the headache that uh, that uh, is right now. But uh, it is uh, what it is. And uh, lots of exclusive phone calls and voicemails. Great videos that Perry does on his own. Great videos that Garrett puts together. Really good stuff. Stuff that you're never going to see anywhere else. Patreon.com slash Perry Caravello. It helps me out because Perry and I split uh, Patreon down the middle. So I appreciate all the people that signed up for Patreon uh, this week. Okay, that's it. What were you going to say, Perry? Okay, if you, if you don't like... Or, well, you're going to like the one with uh, the one that you just mentioned... <clears throat> okay, with Swan and with uh, Pearl it, 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 and uh, not, Joey not, I didn't just like it, Perry. I loved it. It, it was it was it was because there's some episodes like, that are kind of like boring. When when you see the Bill Kennison, that's uh, good too. That's good too. I saw that. Yeah, that that's actually my favorite. <laughs> when you were talking about how hot his daughter was, and he was gonna, and he looked like he was gonna strangle you. That's a good one too. <laughs> oh God! Oh. Um, but anyway, like there's there's a lot of little, there's a lot of trolling going on on this episode, which doesn't really happen on on comedy pure act that often. But it is uh, anyway. I don't want to oversell it because uh, I, I just really enjoyed it. And if you want the backstory of this particular episode. Uh, go to my YouTube. I, I, I usually toss up the, um, uh, if I do after hours, I'll toss it up on my channel. I don't promote it or anything like that. It's just for the few lunatics that want to watch it after the fact. Um, so it's up there. It's just uh, like after hours from this past Monday. Um, I don't know the URL or anything like that. Okay, so let me just go through uh, coming up uh, after this one. Um, there's a Terry Anfuso episode where Terry Anfuso is on, who was your old girlfriend. Right. Uh, I'm just looking at some of the... A lot of these bands I don't know, like Chigger Red, Redfish, Bluefish. Chigger or, Red is... That's a real good episode as well. Uh, you got... Here, here's another one that kind of ties into Perry's history. This this is coming down further down the pike. Judy Chinchado. You want to explain who that is? She's She was a stand-up comedian that um, used to always have fights with Don Barris. Constantly right, but she, she has a special place, place in uh, PCL history because she introduced you to whom? The the attorney that kind of messed me up. His name is? Dijak, Dan Dijak. Yeah, so Judy Chichata is the person who turned Terry <coughs> on to uh, Dan Dijak because that was her attorney. Uh, I'm just yeah. going down. And then, uh, yeah, that, a, lot, a lot of, like, most of the time it's a lot of, like, cheesy, like, uh, metal band, uh, um, a lot of local rock bands. 
mostly local rock bands is what yeah. it, what it's all about. Yeah, well, whatever. The, it, it's yeah, they're, they're local rock bands. Are and, actually, and it's usually like hit, it's hit or miss. It's hit or miss. Yeah. But anyway, Very, and I'm I'm gonna say that all these every one of these rock bands that I put on my stream uh, or my uh, my uh, uh, podcast was it back in the podcast days. Um, excuse me. Sodas, that's C four, <laughs> belching. Um, the Skittles flavor, yeah. Um, most of the rock bands that I interviewed were actually uh, good rock bands. They they good. They had uh, good musicians that uh, played in them. <clears throat> Some with real pretty girls in their bands, like uh, Rako's band. She was a gorgeous girl. And uh, um, God, some of the bands I don't even remember their names, um, unless I look at the the wall of uh, CD DVDs or yes, yeah, so VCR tapes. <sighs> yeah. So that's that. You have anything to say, Tom? No, it's just that some episodes of your, um, again, public access show are better than others. How much right. do you have to pay Thank for those? Um, God, I don't, even rem- I, I don't even remember. I don't even remember. But the Time Warner uh, was a school uh, in teaching you how to become a producer. So it was basically a school. Right, but I know, was- like... Uh, I don't even remember the price any longer. Basically, I've always compared it to YouTube. It's like YouTube before YouTube where you'd see people on your TV. I mean, I was obsessed with public access. It was New York City public access was amazing. In the uh, late 80s, early 90s when I was like a kid and you know watching this stuff. Anyway, so but I know you had to uh, uh, basically um, pay to get on the air. Yeah, I forgot the price actually. It was like twenty or forty, maybe sixty dollars. Right. Well, anyway, that's it. Let's get into uh, that stuff. That'll that'll be that episode will be on Patreon uh, tomorrow uh, at some point in the afternoon. Um, I, 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 last thing, Perry. I, while I'm on the compliment train here with you, is I and I don't want to get into any personal uh, information and cut me off if I am. But so. <sighs> The day that we had that comeback show, um, I don't know, a couple of Mondays ago, where Perry, the one where Perry was like a crazy person, like not, not, and not in a funny way, like in a just nasty, like you remember that one, Perry? I remember. Go ahead. Well, everybody was just kind of like, "Hey, we wanted Perry to come back from vacation, but he was just kind of a jerk and blah blah blah." So anyway, I I, I took it upon myself to contact Perry's doctor because I really felt like he had some kind of chemical imbalance going on which happens and uh, lo and behold we discovered because of the long, wrong medication it's okay we did, a, we did a medication adjustment yeah no I know I'm just I'm just saying we already talked about this turns out he was double dosing uh, one of his uh, and I don't want to say the name of the medication but he was dump, d- double dosing one of his most important meds which was I think making him like that that I don't know, nasty uh, side of him. Uh, so he went to the doctor. They, they kind of checked his dosage. They figured it out. They figured that part out. And then the following week, we went, I mean, I went virtually because I was talking to his doctor, to a doctor point. We were kind of going on with all the stuff that uh, um, uh, it's like, mm, <clears throat> What was he saying? Like he was going through all your stuff, and I was going through all the symptoms, and then he adjusted, adjusted uh, you, uh, and gave you something else. Anyway, my point is, since that was taken care of, I've noticed a noticeable change in you, where you seem way Thank more you. engaged to your job, and also that nastiness that you were carrying for a while. And I'm going to say this, knocking on wood at the same time, uh, seems to be gone. So I, I, I'm just saying I'm very happy that we got that fixed because I think you're, you're better for it. Thank you. Okay. Uh, with having said all that, uh, let's, get to some, uh, let's get to some mailbag. 
some older mailbag. I told Perry to pull. Yeah, I, I, Listen, I, I want to say this too, real quick, because I saw people talking about it in the chat. So the, the chat window that you see on the screen is experimental. It's beta testing it. I am allowing uh, steerage into the first class lounge uh, temporarily, which meaning uh, you, nothing against YouTube chat, but uh, you know, PCL is primarily a Twitch stream, and I think the Twitch chatters sometimes get a little irritated uh, with uh, you know when when YouTube spams come into the chat. So I'm just saying, uh, the like to um, view ratio on YouTube is always very skewed. Like, whereas there's like 600 plus watching, but it's only got like barely 100 likes. Guys, you gotta like the video if you want to stay on the screen chat because it's uh, it's not a it's not a right. It's a privilege, and uh, we might go back to Twitch only on on screen. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Just just be right. better. Be better. This says, we value your opinion. Leave us a Google review. Yeah, that's so just, automatically that's just junk that's thrown in. Win 100, 100 uh, Amazon cards. This is junk mail? Well, that part is junk, but let's see what you actually Okay, got. well, this says, uh, Doberman attack survivor kill streak record. Well, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I was attacked by a Doberman uh, skateboarding, so the kill record. Yeah, the, the, this well, is kind of You don't keep it in the plastic. Sorry about that. Hold on. And that's... That's the little guy right there. And there's... Let me put it on. Put that on. Okay. That's very nice. Is there a note with that other than the spam? No. No. Another mailbag. Anti's potted spot. What the fuck? Hold on. And when I say hold on because there is no note in this bag. Absolutely no note inside this bag. And the name of this I'm going to let you read the name of this. It's a delicacy in England. Don't get caught up in the name. It's delicious spotted dick <clears throat> sultany and raisin steamed puds. And, and the 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 cupcake uh it's it's the cupcake stuff. There's two cupcakes in here. Or, or cups, it's like it's like pudding. So that's what a that's what a I would think it is. That's what it looks like. It's like it's pudding. So like I gotta put it in the fridge or something. It's the it's. I gotta figure out on on instructions on how this is to be eaten. Okay, there it is. It says microwave. Microwave, peel off foil, heat each put, uh, pudding for 30 seconds on high. All right. I'll try it sometime. Yeah, try it. It's, it's, not it's, not today. Yeah. Just, not yeah. today. Uh, I'll set it down here. Okay.
Oh, by the way, if you uh, sent in any uh, tip comments, which I'm going to get to uh, very shortly, for some reason uh, they got all crazy out of order. So if you see like a comment that you sent in uh, late, come in early, or vice versa, don't worry about it. We'll get it all uh, taken care of. All right, this is... Uh... Perfect memorials. Okay, it looks like somebody's dying. Perfect memorials. Okay, let me open this and see what's going on inside. Okay. Your deepest sympathy. Okay. People are saying your perfect memorials. Keep but again, hey, this is junk. This is promoting whatever company sent you this package or whoever ordered okay. this company. Yeah, you thanks. You don't need to read this. Just the actual stuff in the package. All right. It's it's all, it's basically, that's exactly what it is. It's, it's junk. And there's nothing else that came with that? No. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's okay. That's just junk mail. I mean, it's just like a necklace. Right. It's junk stuff. mail. It's not, that's not PCL mail. It was sent to PCL though. Curtis uh, Lamana sent me this. I need a knife to open this. So I don't cut into the item. Okay. This bag out here comes over. This looks like priority mail inside that envelope. So, also. Another jerky boy CD? Are you kidding me? God, these guys, they, they've got nothing better to do than to send me their stupid jerky boy CDs. I've got freaking a ton of these. Hey, can we see that? I mean, like I need another jerky boy CD. <laughs> oh, bam. Right. There you go. I did promise somebody a uh, signed jerky boys 2 CD actually recently. Uh, the gentleman who you sent your uh, Steelathon shirt to that you were supposed to sign, you didn't sign it, so we had to send it back to you. So for his inconvenience, I said, would you like to sign Jerky Boys 2 CD? So <laughs> there you go. We could use that. Thank you. All right. Larry King sending me probably uh, material for um, my, my, my prostate or something. I think, this, I think this might be spam too, unless it's a garlic ad. Prostogenics, yeah, this is good stuff. Actually, the prostogenics. Now he's sending me. Yeah, I'm actually going to keep this stuff and I might get some of it. <laughs> no, please don't get any scam uh, pills. I can't take. No, it's not. It's not actually. Because I'm the one who has to call the uh, bank and tell them that it's you know and all that stuff. So no, 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 no. Is the prostogenics, the prostate pills are pretty damn good. And uh, all right, let's move on. We haven't pill. actually had a real mailbag yet. <laughs> I mean, uh, if we're not counting the metal that you're wearing.
Here we go, alive. I don't need more chili. But whoever sent me chili, thanks for the chili. Carol Shelby chili. <clears throat> Chicken chili. I'm not cooking any chili anytime soon. It's too damn hot. This is uh, two packs of chili. Carol Shelby's chili. And that's your preferred chili, right? Yeah, this is the chicken chili. I normally get the uh, the meat chili. This is the uh, the white chicken chili, so I got to get chicken for this. Okay. So, yeah, when I make chicken chili. Well, when you make chicken chili, do it on camera at least. Yeah. Um, do you well, have any yeah, big boxes yeah, to open, Perry, before we uh, get into this? Wait, what? Do you have any big boxes to open from Mailbag? Right there. Yeah, let's let's get to those. You know the ones you always complain about. Okay, I should have brought the this into the kitchen as well, but I didn't. Let's get one box and then we'll roll some comments. By the way, any, uh, let me just explain because uh, somebody messaged me. Uh, we'll get to comments and super chats. For super chats, if you want Perry to read the super chat on the screen, it's got to be five dollars or more. That's Perry's uh, setting price, not mine. Uh, so five dollars or more if you want Perry to read your super chat. Unfortunately, YouTube doesn't have a setting where you can turn off anything lower than that. So I'm sorry if you're sending in like you know a dollar or whatever, and Perry doesn't read it. We would be here uh, all day. But uh, if you want Perry to read your super chat, this is for YouTubers only. Uh, it's five dollars more. Okay, let's get to this, and we will get to them all in in due time. They just don't come up instantly. I don't want this fucking jar of pickles, you pieces of shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mr. Caravello. Hot. Gorgon Air. Oh, Christ. Hang on, let me read this to you, and then I'll tell you what it is in, in here. But I don't want it because of everything that's in here. I'll bring it up to Robin. Mr. Caravello, please tell us your audience. Please tell your audience about this authentic Chicago style. Gordon Air. G I A R. D I N I E R A. I don't even know how to pronounce that word. Do you? I wasn't paying attention. What was that? Okay. Write this word down. Chicago style, it's it's an Italian word. G I A R D I N I E R A. We'll write, we'll write it down. What you, what, is that what it says? It's on it's on the, the little note. Oh, okay. Gordonera. Hot Gordon Gordonera. Gordonera. I, I don't know what that is. It doesn't, look like, it doesn't look like traditional pickles. No, it's 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 uh it's it's peppers and and pickles and whatever. I don't know. It's it's a it's 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 a spicy something spicy. And uh, I'm not gonna eat it. Gordonera. 
I'll ask Robin if she wants it. You should know that we all eat this. Please go into detail and eat on your stream from City Chicago. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, just move it to the side, Perry, so we can you know, take a break from mailbag for now. Put that box there. I'll put this. Why do I put it on the dining room table? I do oh, mind, yeah. actually. You can leave it right there. Take a break from mailbag. We feel that your current credenza doesn't meet our strict requirements to be a Jenny Kane ambassador. Dump the junk. It's not junk, Jagoff. It's my bedroom dresser. It holds my clothing, you fucking moron. I'm not dumping my bedroom dresser that holds my fucking clothes. Dumb son of a bitch. Been a fan for a long time, but noticed your junior one bedroom apartment has gotten much more cluttered as time goes on. Are you disabled? One clean. Yeah, I'm disabled. Of course I'm disabled. Dumbass. Thank you, Godzo. Thank you for the 500 subs. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. Oh, cool. Three. Thank you for subscribing. Four. Thank you for subscribing. Perry, seeing a fellow gay man like yourself out and loud and proud gave me the courage to propose to my husband. Men holding hands. 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 Thank you. Men holding hands. 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 Christ. Hit that like like button. Wait, wait, wait. Hit that like button because I am a fake. Hit that like hit that like button because I'm a fake snowboarder. I will never uh November twenty whatever the fuck uh, around Thanksgiving. If it's not Thanksgiving Day, it'll be the day after, and that's Saturday, Sunday. Actually the day after I have to be here to stream. <clears throat> but Thanksgiving weekend, uh, if we're not working that weekend, I, wait, I believe we're off that weekend, right? We never were. We, we did Thanksgiving Day one time, and that was the first uh, stream, uh, technically, uh, that was okay. 2020. Since then, we don't do, we, we take off uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, that, week. that entire weekend. Okay, the four-day weekend. I'm, I'm, up in the, I'm up in the snow. I'm with my cousins. Uh, the Ines was up in the snow. Good. I gotta conf I gotta make. Uh, I gotta make the announcement that I'm totally off that weekend because I kept telling Michael that uh, I wasn't uh, that I had to come back on Friday to work. But now that I'm off, then and, and uh, they then know I that you don't know how to snowboard and you don't know what you're doing. They know. They know everything. What's going on? They know I know how to ski. They know that this will be the first time in the snow on a snowboard after my first lesson. Um, right. You know, I've been up twice. Right, but they know that it takes you like six hours to get down like a beginner hill because you keep falling and they're... they're because of the first time on the snow. Right, I, anyway, I'm just saying... A less, if, shut the fuck up about your childish behavior! I'm just saying, if they think they're going to be having like cruising down the hill on a snowboard, they're gonna, they're, they know that they're going to have to wait for you to slowly like fall down the hill and everything. They, they, I'm just saying... No, I, I'm not slowly falling down the hill. I took a lesson. 
to learn. You, you couldn't to even stop. stand on the on the thing, uh, the the treadmill thing with the bar. You couldn't even stand up on that with the assisted bar without that falling. That was uh, that was part of the filming of learning how to snowboard. Oh, you, you fell on purpose. It's not falling on purpose. It's called learning. Okay. Learning, dumbass. I just want to make sure that. Um, yeah, you that, want to make sure that I know what I'm doing. No, I want to make sure that they I, know what I they're in for. Lesson, and I know what I'm doing. And by the way, every time you've made plans with these cousins, it never actually comes out. They always cancel like the last minute. It never actually happens. So we'll see. You don't know what you're talking about. I do, because you made several plans with them this past winter, and then they canceled on you at the last minute. Uh, so, uh, oh, I'm not going now because Michael's got to do this or that or this or that. So, anyway, they have real jobs. This is my and this is my job. Okay, I'm just saying we'll see. We'll start holding our breath now uh, for that, but we'll see. Perry. I know why you keep a skull in your microwave. You use it to read demonic chants. But I doubt this is true. I don't have a skull you read in like my a microwave. First grader. Do I have a skull in my microwave? No, there's no skull in my microwave. Dumbass. Thank you for subscribing. Why would you say I have a skull in my microwave? Anyway. Perry, he said yes and we made incredible greasy gay butt love to the 92 story. Will you join us on our honeymoon for a threesome or... We love you, men holding hands, men holding Sorry. hands. Sorry, not interested. Sorry. That's all, not interested. Danko Mighty is, thanks for subscribing Danko. Perry, acquire better reading comprehension skills, so that you may use your microwave skull to perform better incantations in your home. Hashtag skull scam. Idiot! There's not a skull on my microwave. There never was a skull on my microwave. There never will be a skull on my microwave. Fucking dumbass. These fucking humidifiers are fucking me up. Well, I got news to you, Perry. 15 minutes away from being able to turn one of them off. They're, 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 I don't like my, these stupid humidifiers. They're actually putting me in pain. Okay, so you can turn one of them off in 15 minutes. Dumb son of a bitch. <laughs> I guess in the state of Florida, where it's more humid than humid... Uh, why would you use a dehumidifier when it actually makes the room humid? Doesn't dry it out. Dehumidifier, please. It's drier than shit right now. I didn't say anything about a dehumidifier. Yeah, the humidity is 27%, so... Jesus. Thank you for subscribing. Excuse me for being a little brain dead for a minute. Oh, thank you for subscribing. Yeah, this is making my room humid. Why the fuck did you give me something so stupid or have people give me something so stupid? It's putting humidity in my room. Yeah, they're humidifiers. That's what they do. That's what I don't want. Asshole. Okay, well, in 15 minutes, you can turn one of them off, okay? And not... throw the fucking thing on the trash. Well, or give it away to somebody, but yeah. Stupid fuck.
All right, hey, hey, hey. Don't need to yell at me. Oh, by the way, I just want to chime in and say uh, thank you to uh, the YouTubers. Uh, to uh, I think it, they they like the video a little bit more. So there's, I don't know, roughly 650 something viewing on YouTube. 227 likes, better than what it was. But guys, if on YouTube, I hate saying this because I think it's so cringe, but if you could just take a second out of your day, if you're watching on YouTube, to like the video, it helps the Friday streams, especially because they stay on YouTube and it just, uh, it's we, we, it's such an uphill battle with YouTube as it is. Uh, so the likes actually uh, is the one thing that you could do to, to help out. So please, I just like to see a little better view to like ratio. Okay, and I, I we don't harp on it a lot like the way other people do. Um, can I open this letter? Yes, Perry, you can open that letter. It says it's from Scarlet, but the way it's put on this envelope, I don't believe it's from Scarlet because it says for. Well, you already Hill. opened it. I can see it's been opened. So did you open this already? Uh, this morning I, I cracked open the 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 backside and I saw you, you this. Just could, you just couldn't wait because you said you thought it was from Scarlet. Don't show it if there's any nudity. No, it's just uh, Eo Brando Perry. Uh, you are you are the man. Okay, Eo Brando showing off his. Uh, Rock hard abs. Wow, nice. Rap bastard. The rock hard abs. I'm jealous of uh, anybody that has rock hard abs, and uh, I mean, like Michael Hearn had rock hard abs, like Dio Brando does. And was there, uh, was there something else in there? Yeah, pictures. Let me okay. show you the pictures. Yeah, show me the pictures. I can't believe. By the way, stop opening things uh, because you can't wait to get on the air. Dio standing next to Gina, which right. I don't believe that's true. I believe that's a uh, Photoshop. Not Gina. I mean Scarlet again. Dio with Scarlet. Okay. Photoshop of. This is all. This is all Photoshop. There's a tattoo on my right arm, which I do not have a tattoo on my right arm. So you know that's all Photoshop. Again, there's a tattoo on my right arm, which I don't have a tattoo on when my right arm. When did you Ronald McDonald in your place? I never had Ronald McDonald in my place. Photoshop. Again, Photoshop. Jesus. All right, Again, that's, that's, Photoshop. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. Stupid Photoshop of some old guy trying to make it look like me. Again, I would never look like this or never dress like this. Complete Photoshop. But whoever did that, uh, the, the picture like that, did a good job to make it look like it's actually me. Okay? Because I would never put something like that on, and I would never wear a hat like that. Okay? And then here's some cartoon images of me as well. A backside. Jesus Christ. When are you going to stop fucking putting hey, stupid hey, just, shit on the Nobody's screen? seeing that but you. Just go ahead. This is a backside of somebody that, that would look like me, if not me. This is absolutely not me. These two photos are some fat slob who wishes he was me. Fat slob who wishes he was me. Okay. <laughs> Let me see that one again, that last one. Yeah, the uh, the fanny pa the one that gives that away is the fanny pack is not as big as it should be. Uh, that's true. Uh, 
But he's got a nice bag. That's a nice bag. Now he's got the bag open? What a fucking idiot. Now he's holding now he's got the fanny the, the, the fanny pack open showing all his shit in there and he's showing how fat he is. What a disgusting slob. That's gross. Absolutely gross. That's not me either. I would never get that fat. If I ever saw myself get that fat, I would jump. Jump! Like Van Halen. Jump! Yeah! Okay. Um. Okay. Open up the freaking box. No, 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 no. Put it, put that back. Put it back. Okay. Yeah. That's separate, so, right? That wasn't from the Dio Brando no. thing. Okay. Yeah. No. Uh, by the way, I want to give my uh, weekly shout out to uh, Dio Brando. Uh, that's just uh, the stuff that Perry was showing was tip of the iceberg. Even if you're not like a Twitter person or I don't know an X person, <clears throat> whatever the heck they're uh, calling Twitter these days. Uh, give Dio a follow. Here's his uh, Twitter handle. At Black Magic Credenza, B L K M G C C E R E D E N Z A. While he's not a, a, like an official a PCL staff member, uh, you, if you're a PCL fan, if you're a Perry fan, uh, it's the best follow you can do because just the, the artwork is is outrageous and it's like multiple every day. I'm it's, gonna admit, you know, I'm uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm gonna agree to that. Dio knows his knows his stuff when it comes to uh, mixing. Mixing uh, uh, pictures and stuff and uh, well, editing. You, you blocked him not too long ago, and then you had to unblock him. Like, why would you block him? Oh, he said something that I didn't like. Okay. It been like, how do you, I block you, anybody? You a weird thing. Okay. Something that I don't like. So somebody wrote to me, actually, Georgia, who is like one of our sweetest fans, Georgia from the UK, she wrote me saying that you blocked her on Twitter, and she was super upset. Like, why did you block Georgia? I don't remember, but she said something that upset me. So. Okay, well, Perry, stop, stop being so trigger happy on Twitter. These people are trying to engage with you. Stop writing stuff that upsets me. And and, and then I look. I had to go into your um, like going into your block list because I I go into Perry's Twitter, you know, to post like P, retweet like PCL stuff, whatever. Uh, Perry's on there a lot, posting his own stuff. But I had to go into your block list, and I'm telling you. Trying to find one person is like going through the Dead Sea Scrolls. It was so long a list, like the amount of people you blocked. And then a couple of people like surprised me, like, who is that guy? What, what, my, now I'm going to have a brain fart. Um, but, oh, Alex. Somebody's Stein. down banging at my door. Leave it alone. They'll go away. You you blocked Alex Stein. The uh, He's like a... He's another like podcaster. Like, why did you block Alex Stein? That guy's a big fan of yours. I don't remember. Okay, Somebody, uh, you're not allowed to block. If people. he said something that pissed me off, I'm not gonna. Hey Perry, how about this? How about unless it's like really malicious? How about you just deal with it and not block people that are trying to engage with you? Okay. You can engage with me, but stop saying stuff that I really don't want you to say. Right, I know. Anyway, so I was trying to unblock as many people as I could. I mean, it, it was ungodly how. And then you follow, like your your the people that you choose to follow too is just as ridiculous as the people that you choose to block. Like a million fake uh, Scarlet accounts. I mean, at one point, Perry, Perry, this is years ago. This is a couple years ago. Perry was suspended from Twitter because he was following too many accounts, and they thought his account was like a bot account. You were following, like, had to be... Everybody. Right, because Perry doesn't understand how social media works. That's that's understood. He thinks every tweet, every Instagram post is a post that's sent directly to him. That's what he thinks. And then he also thinks oh. that following people uh, on Twitter adds to his followers, which it doesn't. And, I, and sometimes I, I would call him and he'd be like, I'm on Twitter adding followers. I'm like, what do you mean adding followers? He goes, well, I'm adding my followers. And he thinks so following people, he thinks is adding to his follower account. Anyway, it's ridiculous. Uh, so, like, for example, uh, I'm just looking at it right here. 
uh, fake Scarlet fan pages, the Scarlet Zone, Daily that would Scarlet. Be more like Instagram, I would be doing that. No, on. your Twitter. I'm looking at your Twitter follows, recent follows right here. Scarlet Photos, Scarlet Johansson Access fan site, That's, Scarlet it's all BS. And he writes all to BS. all of these saying, like, when are you coming over I here? <laughs> Um, I did like two years ago. Two, two years not... ago. How about two days ago? What did I, I write two days ago? Like there was some fake Scarlet account where you were like, uh, "When when you when are you coming here?" <laughs> I don't know. It, it's it, listen. Perry's gonna parry. If you get blocked, or whatever, unjustly, uh, I'll, I will try to help you out. I can't. I can't do it for everybody, obviously, because it's got a lot of stuff. Uh, to do, but Perry, just do me a favor. When you go on Twitter, if you see something you don't like, you know, maybe give them a warning. Say, hey, I don't like this kind of behavior. If you do it again, I'm going to block you. Don't insta block. That's all. You know, right. like we have a rule here on PCL, even like we don't ban people unless they, you got to be really, really bad to be uh, banned. Like I the, mean, I'm, the, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Term. All right, all right. Yeah. Let me let me make this comment kindly. Yeah. Um, Gina Carano politely wrote me. In my private page. Yes, DM. So I politely wrote her back on my private page. Okay. Thank you, Gina. What does I that have to do with that, anything? Gina. We're talking about stupid page, uh, me being on, on like Twitter or Instagram or any other page. I'm even going to go back as far as uh, my, my space and, and freaking pages around that time of when uh, internet pages were created. Um, <clears throat> understand that sometimes I don't know who's who's who on certain pages. So, like you gave her my my personal private page, and she wrote me a private message. I didn't give message. any pair. I'm not I'm not your uh, personal assistant, first of all. No, you're not. But this was important, so that's why you did it. Okay, I, I don't remember. I, listen, Perry, you're talking about something that's uh, way well over my head. I'm just saying, give people a break. Perry uses Twitter a lot more because probably he's, uh, you know, compensating. Because I'm blocked on Instagram. Right. Cons cons what? Compensating for not being on Instagram. Just chill out. Okay. I'm trying to, look, I'm trying, I'm just quickly going through and, and like, Give me a, uh, I'll tell you what, today today only, I'll, I'll do a deal for people. This is to everybody watching right now. I'll do a deal. Uh, send an email to live at gmail.com. Let's not make it a big thing. but And don't, let's not make it any other social media, just Twitter. Just put in your Twitter handle. And I will, un, I with Perry's permission here, yes, Tom, it's okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, I will unblock you from Perry's Twitter if you've been unblessed, uh, un justly uh blocked okay today only today only so this is friday july 28th uh if it's after july 28th i, I i'm not going to get to it uh, right away but i will i will do that for you guys if perry's on on block because it's, it's it's bad to block cool. people you know willy-nilly other than the Soviet goats that I've blocked, no, I, I, and and he's unblocked, Perry. Because Soviet goats, uh, regardless of you know his fetish for uh, Grandma Robin and her uh, smelly, disgusting twat, uh, he's a good guy who contributes a lot to you and helps pay your bills. So he's well. That remark right there is is uh, rude and, and uncalled for. What? What is? <laughs> hey, Perry. By the way, I just looking now. You blocked Shuli. Shuli. From, from I don't remember. Shuli, Shuli, the guy that you did a show with, okay, the, the guy that you've been on his show, uh, the guy who hosts with Bob Levy, Shuli is a friend of ours, okay? He is a friend yeah, of the show. Shuli. Unblock Shuli. So why would you block Shuli? I don't remember. Okay, well, th this is not good. Okay, you don't block you don't block friends of the show, but Shuli is a friend. I'm sorry for blocking Shuli. Okay, okay. Because you get in this, you get in this mindset where you're just sitting there, like, and you, you don't realize, like, you gotta. What the hell, he man? What, what, is, what did he say? Don't... What did he possibly say? He, he might have said something that I was un, unapproving. Okay, so you write back. Don't say this. I don't approve of that. You don't have to insta block. Okay, especially when okay. you're an influencer like you are. All right. All right. I know All it right. gives nope. you some kind All of right. power. Look, 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 folks. No more blocking. 
uh, I will give you one warning. I'll write you if there's something that I don't approve of that is going to make me want to block you. I will write back immediately saying, "Do not write this again, or you will be blocked." You know, Perry. gentlemen, gentlemen, that's it. That's what I'm saying. You get one warning. Do not write something like this again, or you will get blocked. And that's that. And by the way, I've been blocked myself. I've been blocked, guys. I know uh, what it's like. But uh, that's just I can't believe you blocked me. Blocking you is just being stupid. I don't even use Twitter on my own personal account. I, I, I only do it P PCL stuff. I'm just saying. Why would I block you? you you're my boss. I, you're the one this, that... I'm talking about years ago, Perry. Something I retweeted or something that you didn't like and you blocked it. So, um, okay. So we'll do that. Send me an email today, perrycurvalive at gmail.com. I will get you unblocked, okay? Today only. Don't don't flood me with it. Um, Thank you. Yes. <laughs> it's so crazy to me. Um, I'm just, I'm looking through this list here of just the people. It just goes on and on and on and on. Uh, yeah, the, the block list is very huge. <laughs> I got a minimum of about five to ten thousand people on my I don't Twitter. Know. I, it doesn't give me a count. It's just, it's just ridiculous. No, so there's a there's about ten thousand, if not more, on the Twitter. Is it? I know Facebook. I, I, I know um, Instagram and Facebook's a little over five thousand. I need. Oh, Bob, Bob, by the way, Bob Levy says keep Shuli blocked. So maybe. Uh... Maybe, maybe we should re-block him. <laughs> then, then keep truly blocked. Well, Adam, what did he do? I, I, the guy, it has to be I a reason. Like, you like, might have said like, something for example, that I was like, just... here's a legit reason to block somebody. Like, if somebody's posting like your personal information, like somebody like yeah. has your credit card or something like that, and they're posting your yeah. number. By the way, oh, speaking of credit card, I got. I, I actually didn't even tell Perry this. Big news, Perry. Big news. So. I, I know this is mailbag and it's, it's kind of is turning it good, into a, is it good news it shouldn't be on the air or is it uh news that everybody should know about well perry i think i'm smart enough to realize what should and shouldn't be on the air well start talking and i'll stop you when you uh say something that you're not supposed to okay so and, and this will be the last thing i say because i don't want to turn this into a uh you know friday podcast or whatever uh stop there right there very funny um so I've been trying to fix Perry's credit. Like, you know, as you know, your personal credit is right. uh, important, especially if you're going to be doing stuff like you want to get a car loan, you want to uh, get a credit card, you want to buy a house eventually, which Perry uh, wants to do despite what he says. Uh, you need good credit, okay? They check your credit when, you know, it, especially when you're an adult and you're, you know, at your age, Perry, it's very important to have good credit. So Perry's credit was about as bad as you could possibly be. Like I'm talking negative saying. numbers. But if there's such a thing as a negative credit score, Perry had it. Because when Perry lost his uh, disability, uh, this is years ago, uh, he started opening up these like really bad credit cards, like the cr like the lousiest credit cards, like these scam not even not scam credit cards because they technically are credit cards. But they're credit cards that target people uh, of like low income that Bank just have insanely that aren't high, banks. insanely high in interest rates. For example, yeah. So when he wasn't getting a revenue, he did this, and I didn't know he did. I didn't find out he did this uh, until a long time uh, down the line, and it was difficult. So he maxed out these cards and did just you know um, what do they call it? Each you, one. Never had any intention to paying either one of them, and they just uh, they 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 were written off, and then he was mm -hmm. hit hit by uh, uh, creditors and uh, collections people. I so, did this before I even knew you. No, no, this was this was this was again recently. That was before you did it. This is when you did this. I mean, within the last seven years, um, and so anyway. To make a situation worse, Perry and I owes, owes this money and written off blah blah blah. I'm gonna skip to uh, skip over a lot of court costs. My credit was bad too, because I had to help Perry and pay some, you know, pay his stuff and make sure he had a roof over his head and stuff. And then sometimes sacrificed. Sometimes I defaulted on a, a card of mine, which was like a humiliating thing. But that's it happens to all of us. So. Uh, my credit was in the toilet, especially when it came time to like, I, I needed to get a house and I did, my credit was shit and I couldn't get it. 
So I had to like have my parents co-sign all this stuff, which is embarrassing as hell. But um, long story short, I started re- doing stuff to rebuild Perry's credit, and um, my and you could thank my mom, Perry, because my mom always had really good credit, great credit, and uh, my my dad as well, Lisa V. And uh, I added Perry to one of my mom's credit card accounts. This is like a year ago. Because when you add somebody, and this is just a, Nichols wrote the free advice. If you know somebody in your life, if you have bad credit, you know somebody in your life that has good credit, they can add you on one of their credit cards as an authorized user, which means a card is issued in your name, it goes to them. You don't ever have to use that card and they never have to give you that card, but you will inherit that person's good history. So Perry inherited my mom's good history and I also put him on one of my credit cards, which I opened one of my chase cards, I put him as an authorized user. Now, Perry never received those cards because the when you get when you add somebody as an authorized user, it gets sent to you. It gets sent to the person. Like remember, my mom, God, you know, God bless her. She she got some of those. <laughs> this is like last year. She still wasn't great, but she was like, "Who the heck is Perry Caravello?" <laughs> and because uh, she opened up the mail and there was a credit card, her credit card, her like Citibank card with Perry's name on it. I was like, "Oh my, I told you about that." Uh, you know, you could just you could just tear it up and throw it away. I'm just helping. Uh, I'm just helping this guy get his credit up. So, um, anyway, a year later, and then after adding him to one of my cards, and then my dad is the real savior here because my dad opened a Macy's department store card in 1970. Uh, before my parents got married, he oh my god, the, that's way back in the early years of Macy's. He opened the card to get my. Um, to get my mom a wedding ring and he still has it it's a card that's been now again the other thing with credit reports credit histories is the longest you have a credit card like if you have a long history it's like great for your credit like my dad's credit score is like 840 best you could do is 850 so i added perry to that and that really skyrocketed him because in the past i tried to get him like a chase uh chase credit card so anyway long 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 drawn out uh, way to say perry now has an official uh chase uh, Freedom Unlimited credit card. It's 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 on the way to you, Perry. Uh, you did well, get. Thank you. You uh, did do uh, you did do it. You got a credit card, and uh, that's it. Uh, yeah. So. So I'm gonna be sarcastic with this this this. Thank you. So now I can go into a Lamborghini dealership no, and get see, a brand No, no, you have a credit. No, see, you have a credit limit. And so I noticed somebody in the chat said this oh. is bad. Uh, this is bad financial advice. You don't know what you're talking about. It's actually very good financial I'm, advice. I'm, okay, so I'm you just add, teasing. So anyway, anybody who has a bad uh, credit score, uh, get on somebody's account that has a good credit score, and they can add you as an authorized user. It does help. It would also helps Perry. I know I'm boring you, Mister Excitement. No, but no, you're not boring me at all. When you get this you're card, when you get this credit card, this is not like a free for all, okay? And you have to pay it in full at the end of each month. Do not carry a balance. Pay Got it at it. the end of each month, and that'll build your credit up more. And hopefully, in like another year from now, you'll have a good credit score enough where you can apply for a mortgage and be accepted, or an auto loan, or whatever. Anyway, that's what that's what I wanted to say. It was it's I, I was gonna. Just, Tell it to you off the air, but since it kind of came up in conversation, I figured I'll tell it to you here. Well, that really should have been told off the air rather than letting people know that I have a, a credit card that's uh, going to be. I, I don't have the, like, I didn't give out the number or anything. Like, I don't even know the number. It's your card. Are, this is well, not an still, card. whether or not you give out the number it makes people think that I now have money, whether it's a credit card or not a credit card. Okay, Perry, let just let the adults talk for a little bit. This is a good thing. <laughs> Okay, it's a good thing. You have a credit card in your name that's not attached to somebody else. Just don't blow it. Please, for the love of God, don't blow this. I worked really hard on getting your credit up to a certain point. Uh, And I don't know your exact score number, but let's just, uh, you know, spend responsibly, okay? Sorry sorry for the uh, credit credit weeds. Uh, I've been building up my own credit too, which I'm happy about, and... uh, Okay. So now I can buy a used car dealership. Yes, Perry, all that. We can move on to mailbag now. Sorry about that. I just wanted to mention it since it uh, kind of came up in conversation. Yeah. And I'm going to be monitoring your uh, spending too, so don't Good. go crazy. Well, 
Why would I want to spend money if I don't have it? You understand how the credit work system works, Perry? It's not your money. It's the credit card company's money that they're loaning you so you can make these purchases. You also earn exactly. a, you also earn a Chase Ultimate Rewards points, which can go towards travel and other things. So learn responsibly. We'll... I don't like what I'm going to be opening. Right, check for a note. Because it looks like... It looks like a filet of fish sandwich. Check, check for a note. No note. Just a flag. Flag in a bag. And then this bag is not a zip lever. Stand this sandwich. Do not throw that in the garbage, Perry. That's very nice. Did, did, did no note with that at all? Not at all. I'll mail it off to you. You want it? Just don't throw it away, Perry. Just put it to the side. It takes up no space. Of course not. So yeah, this is nice and flat. Like, like this is flat. using my brother's scream. My brother wouldn't want a gay guy who gives hand jobs. You copying his scream. Stop it. Hashtag fake voice. Uh, you were you the one that told me I can use his scream. I don't need to use his scream. I'm just screaming my, my own scream. I mean, I'm not going, ow, ow, ow! Every time I scream, every time I get loud and, and nasty. <clears throat> We are filming Windy City Heat 2 and best part is we don't need you. We just use your likeness, hologram, and for your part 10 we don't have to pay you shit. Uh, Tom, can you find out uh, the truth about that? Because I don't believe it. You acted on your last Friday stream as a wrestler. You acted on camera. Your SAG contract is terminated. Sincerely, Fran Dresser. That's a lie. That's a lie. You can't terminate me for doing something I did not do illegally against SAG rules. Doing a stream is not an illegal um, job. This is how I make my living, girl. Why don't you come over and I interview you on the stream? I mean, on, on my, um, yeah, on my stream. This is not uh, um, TV or film. This is a stream. It's got nothing to do with sag -Raftra. I mean, that's that's what that's exactly what they're going to try to do is seek to get streamers hooked into SAG and After to where SAG and After is now a part of streaming, which would be really, really a nasty thing to do. Now I know why some people don't like to be be involved in union jobs there at all, because some grocery stores when I was a grocery clerk were union jobs. And some were non-union jobs. Like I've had, I had uh, some people that owned health food stores 
that were uh, non-union uh, affiliated health food stores. <clears throat> and you don't get the health benefits, of course, when you work at a place like, like Judy's, uh, Judy's Health Foods in Palm Springs. But uh, it was a great health food store. She had good stuff. Now, why is somebody texting me? Don't give a rant's ass. Okay. Come to that after the stream. In an hour. Mr. Caravello, I would like to speak with on an upcoming film I'm working on about your life. The 1992 story of you being gay for a year blowing guys. I was never gay. I'm not a homosexual. Stop it. In this night we embrace the ways of the flesh and the wisdom of the serpent. Celebration of Christ's fall. I don't get that at all. That complete saying makes no sense to me. Perry, have you ever had a proctological exam? Did it remind of you that handsome devil Randall Callahan? Getting what thinking about it. Man, hard, kiss mark, man. You're disgusting. You're absolutely disgusting. Stop, stop making comments like that. An exam. I never knew your friends got you drunk on Jack Daniels before they made you a woman at 15. This is a very sad story. Save it for Florida, sick fuck. I'm not going to Florida, sick fuck. God. Yeah, there, there's, there's the other reason why I'm not going to Florida. I'm afraid I'm going to get gay raped when I enter Florida. As soon as I get to Florida, I'm going to have all these sick gays Fucking tie me down and rape the fuck out of me. No way am I getting off an airplane in the state of Florida. No fucking way. Let us pray. Hail Satan, Lord of pain. Shatter Perry's brittle neck. Crack open his bones and twist them in hellish agony. We call thee forth. 666. You're disgusting, you evil, satanic, worshipping psychopath. Oh, God. All right, Perry, I got a Stop. couple of Tom's tips I got to get to, if you don't mind. Uh, if you'd like to send uh, your own Tom's tip in, which is a tip comment that's read by me, Tom, send an email to pcloffers at gmail.com or hit up Jim PCL in the chat. All proceeds of um, Tom's tips... Go to Garrett and Jim. By the way, Jim let me know. Perry, we're over here. Straight ahead. I don't know why you're looking down. Uh, Jim let me know that uh, there was a first time. Hey, Perry, right here. I don't know why you keep looking down. It's called um, neck pain, jag off. Okay, well, you, you got can. got these moronic fucking humidifiers on that are giving right, me well, major you can, pain. You can turn one off as soon as I'm done with this Tom's Tips, but you got to pay attention, okay? Dumbass. Jim did let me know that we have a first time Tom's Tipper today. Not this next one, but a first time Tipper who accidentally sent payment to you, Perry, not Jim and Garrett. So uh, if you would so kindly, maybe later in the day, if you could uh, forward that along, that would be a great. And don't scam them, okay? Because uh, it was an accidental uh, sending of funds to Perry for Tom's tips, okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Anyway, this first one is from our friend up north, Sketch317, who says, Hey, Perry, you're my favorite gypsy streamer. Thank you. I noticed you haven't gone out and supported your brothers and sisters on the picket line. Uh, is that because you support the news that Universal Studios wants to use your likeness in Bros 2? They announced that you are the number one CGI candidate for the role. The best part is... Because you've done work for Universal before, they don't need your permission, and they don't even need to pay you. Congratulations, Perry. Men holding hands. Cheers from Canada. 
I never did work for Universal before. Maybe you did. Maybe one of the movies you uh, were an extra in. What? No, extra. Big fucking deal. Extra work? Please. I did work for... Then I worked for all the studios. Because I did extra work in, in all... I, in, I did extra work in movies for all the studios. For Universal, for Paramount, for Sony, for um, uh, uh, CBS, NBC, for... Uh, 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 it was like there's like eight or ten different studios that I did work for. If you want to go down that road, be that stupid. Okay. Uh, here's another mm-hmm. Tom's tip from Matt C. Did you say you'll be in the snow this November? Yes. Well, you also said you hate Skittles and Sprite, but you gleefully shove both down your throat like you're a truck. Like you're at a truck stop, glory hole. Stop lying to yourself and your fans and just remove the tattoo like you agreed to do. Go fuck yourself. Matt C. Bitch. 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 It's all you motherfuckers know how to do is bitch. November. Thanksgiving Day. Bear uh, uh, Mountain. Okay. Bear Mountain is where I will be. You want to find me? That's where I'm going to be. Don't fuck with me the day before or anything, because I gotta get up early and be there early. <laughs> All right, here is a Tom's tip from James. I think James is the gentleman who accidentally sent you the funds for this Tom's tip. Uh, it's very simple, Perry. Can you pay attention now? Compartmentalize. Get over that last thing. Thank you. Uh, a new fan That's wants to fun. shout out God, Wayne. Even if I was making my back a man major mess. Was that important to interrupt me as I'm doing a Tom's tip? Yeah, because I fucking hurt like a motherfucker. Well, as soon as this... I your shit out and I got a... Now I got... I I had no pains earlier. Now I'm in fucking pain because of these stupid fucking dehumidifiers. After I'm done with this Tom's tip... Not humid outside and you got me with this shit in my house making me in pain, you fucking prick. Okay. I'm throwing them all away. They're garbage. Perry, after I'm done with this Tom's... damn it. After I'm done with this Tom's tips, you can take, you could shut down one. So please be quiet now. Okay. This is a Tom's tip and do not ruin this guy's Tom's tip because you're in a bad mood. This is Tom's tip from a guy named James. And I think he's the one who accidentally paid you instead of Jim and Garrett. Okay. A new fan wants a shout out to Wayne Kerr and he'd like to hear your poop story. So can you give a shout out to Wayne Kerr and perhaps tell this poop story? Hey, Wayne. Pleasure to have you on my stream. Now, I don't remember what you're talking about, the poop story. What, when I when I uh, farted and pooped my pants? That's probably the one. Walking down the street? Okay, well, uh, I don't remember what year it was, but uh, it was in the desert, and I, uh, I'm walking down the street, and I, I of course, we cracked wind as I'm walking. And uh, all of a sudden, I felt the turd coming out of my butt. And I realized, oh, shit, I am shitting my pants. So uh, let's get this out of my ass. And I, I, kept, I kept pushing. And, and, and uh, then I grabbed the wall like I was getting frisked by the cops and finally pushed it out as I grabbed the wall. Um, shook it down my leg, and I had full pants on. Rather than shorts, because I always wear shorts now more than pants. So I had a full leg of pants on back then when this happened. And I believe it was spring break, uh, which is like the either spring break or Christmas break. It was like the worst time of the year for that to even happen when you got a ton of people on the sidewalk. Okay, and uh, I, I, uh, I, um, I had a turd going down my leg, and yes, thank God it was a firm turd. Thank goodness it was a firm turd. A turd, a turd came down my leg. Big firm turd came down my leg, came out my my uh, bottom of my right leg. So uh, I, I started to kick it into the street, and uh, I, I kicked this turd into the street, and I tried to walk away from it, and it kept calling me back. Hey Perry, this is a human turd. You can't leave me in the street. Come on, I'm not dog shit, you dummy. Get get over here and pick me up and throw me in the throw me in the toilet inside Hagen Dawes. 
So um, I kept walking away, and he kept look, kept calling me back. So after like the third time I was walking away, I turned around. I went, and I, I picked it up. I I was like, I felt guilty that I shit my pants one. I felt guilty that I picked up the third two. And I felt guilty that I walked in the haagen and asked the manager in haagen if I can use the toilet. And he immediately just pointed at the, at the bathroom. He goes, you know where the bathroom is? Just go and use it. So and it was the biggest shock in, in uh, everybody's life, including mine, as I walked in there with this big thing of shit in my hand. Oh, how disgusting it was. But yes, I picked up a, picked up my human turd and threw it in, in a toilet, the toilet, at haagen Then I washed my hands, I sat down, took a dump, and I washed my hands again. And uh, thank, thank the manager and uh, tried to shake his hand, but he wouldn't shake my hand. As I was uh, thanking him for letting me uh, use the toilet. I'm glad nobody was in the bathroom when this all happened. So, What would you have done if there was somebody in the bathroom at the time? I don't know. I'd have to wait. I'd have to wait. <laughs> With the poop in your hand. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, thank you, James, else. for that Tom's tip. Uh, now, Perry, so well over an hour into this uh, humidifier thing, here's what I would suggest. You uh, can turn off one of them. Now, before you talk, you. before you talk, Perry, here, don't thank me yet because there's a price to turning off one of them. Okay. If you want to turn off one, I, this is what I would suggest you do. I would suggest shut off the big one behind you, but you have to change uh, the position of that with the 7-Up one in the kitchen. So you'd swap the position. Unplug the big one. Not now. Correct. Do not get ready to dart away. We're not done. Well, Perry, because I know you're, not, you're going to forget the caveat here. You have to eat a handful of Skittles if you want to turn off one. That was the original offer. If you want to turn off one after an hour, you have to eat a handful of Skittles. So the Skittles you got delivered earlier, you got to eat a handful. This shit down the fucking floor, I got to eat. Yes, the one you got, the one that somebody paid to get delivered earlier. You can't turn off the humidifier until that's done. That's what you were paid for. Leave it on, then fuck it. I'm not eating that shit. You can turn it off right now. You just, a little handful, no, right? not a lot. I, I, I'm on another hour, so I, I'll, no, it's not another. Stuff. I was going, we're going to go a little longer today because we started late, so it's not just an hour. It's going to be a while. I think. I think in order to ease your comfort, you should just do it. Just cut up, cut open the bag. Forget of Skittles, it. Eat one little handful. A, a little Shut handful. Up. A little handful of Skittles. I'll leave this. I'm, I'm going to save these bags of garbage. For, an, for another time, okay? Well, Perry, I don't want you looking down then, okay? There's no looking down, okay? I, so if you want to get out of this pain you're in for the humidity, uh, you got to eat uh, one little handful fuck of skin. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Okay. I'm just going to deal with the pain. Then deal with the pain. I uh, go with down. the pain when we have humid days, so I'll go with the pain. You'd but rather, you'd rather, be, in pain. You'd rather be in pain than eat a little bit of Skittles. These stupid fucking humidifiers are for the state of Florida, not for California. I don't know why they sell them out here. Please. All right. Uh, I'm moving on get, to another like, Tom's yeah. Tips. This one, oh, this is from Rears, Perry. You want to pay attention here. Who? Rears. Oh, Rears diapers? Nice. Okay. Hey, Perry. Rears here again with another sponsorship offer. We'd love to see... <sighs> how leak resistant and waterproof our diapers are. So if you could seal the diaper to yourself with tape and fart in it, that would be much appreciated. Our patented technology is so advanced that we are confident that not one bit of your ass gas will escape. Absorbency and waterproofing are the two hallmark marks of quality diaper. And while you prove, and while you prove the first every day we sorry, let me read this part again. Absorbency and waterproofing are the two hallmarks of a quality diaper. And while you prove the first every day, we'd like to see you prove the second. Okay, so they want you to prove not only that the, the patent technology is advanced, uh, but that the absorbency and uh, waterproofing 
uh, are not just marketing uh, jargon. It's actually true. Whoa. Sincerely, the Rear's sponsorship and marketing team. P.S. A PCL themed diaper is in the works, so be sure to send along any suggestions of what pattern you'd like to see on the diaper. So if you want to see like artwork on the diaper, um, if if uh, this this put this on the diaper, put this beautiful picture of my face and and the hat. Uh, on the diaper, uh, Barry Caravello live on the diaper. Okay. Rather than Scary Perry Productions, just go Perry Caravello live. All right. Here's a simple offer, Perry. I haven't had many offers today, uh, but this is a, well, there's a couple. Let me get to these. Um, the uh, filet of fish flag that you received earlier, can you uh, show that again? I ain't got it. God damn you! Oh, stop being a baby. I'm just asking you to show it. Put it back. It wasn't... Well, take it out. Stupid fucking eyes. The fucking company is rich as shit. Okay. This is an offer from Harmless Panda, and you're going to like this offer. I am? You are. We'll see. Okay. Harmless Panda is offering you $100 if you would autograph this and mail it to him. He wants to buy it autographed from you. Okay. So I would autograph the top bun part. However, there's a caveat here. You need to display it in your apartment for one week. So display it for one week. Uh, we'll find a place, maybe starting on oh, Monday. Christ. I don't want to go through a whole motion of doing it now. But we got to display it in the apartment for one week, maybe like back where the air conditioner is, like where that Perry Curve Alive uh, artwork is. Uh, display it for I'll, one week. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, just got to uh, display uh, it for one week, and then you're going to autograph it and send it off to the gentleman. For that, you get $100. I'll do is I'll get a, a chair to where I can hang it over over both, and I'll tape it up on the wall. Yeah. On the top side. Yeah. That's good. Look up here. Oh, bam. Okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. Maybe you could put it over the blinds. Uh, that was Jim's suggestion. That's not a bad idea. That'll cover some light. Is that is that possible? Oh, blinds? Yeah, like right there. Tape it up here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You want? Can you can you do it now simply, or should we wait on that? I get a chair. All right, we'll do it now. We'll do it live.
failing yet. Okay. Fucking son of a bitch. I pray I'm gonna have to call this at a certain point if you can't figure it out. You, you got some kind of thing you I can just that. clamp it to? What? Do you have like a clamp or something like that you can just clasp it to or something? No. This is because I. Hang on, I'm, I'm, I'm almost there. Almost there. Got it? Great job, Perry. Really good. So in a week's time, we're going to take it down. You're going to sign it and you're going to mail it off. Don't forget the signing part. Yeah. We'll lay it That's on the table or something down. like that. That's where it falls down. Okay. I know this stream is very wheezy, so, uh, but you know it's Friday. It's more, more of a chill vibe on Friday. Yeah, so I can go to bed early and then head up to Mammoth by myself. I don't know what that has to do with anything. Can we uh, get to yeah, one of those other boxes? How about that big box on the bottom pile? Let's get to that. Okay, so I guess I don't want these. Open this.
dumb boxes that are effing huge. <sighs> you know, while I was on that ladder or on that chair, I peed three times in my diaper. So that's how much I love these diapers. Three times in a row or three separate times? Three, three, well, I mean, like three, three times. Like three little times where you went and stopped, went and stopped, or there are like long pauses in between each one? Well, there was like three, three times, three times I went and stopped. Okay, so here's wrapping plastic. Okay, you go in the tray. And here is something in here. I have no clue what's in there. And then I have receipts with a letter. Other receipts in the box. Letter. Okay. Uh, okay, this is Perry, my Chicago brother. You got to show that loser, Tom B, that Chicago does relish the right way. Put this on all your food this week. Oh, fuck you. The relish made for men who are made for women from Chicago Mayor Richard Daly. Dude, I'm not a relish eater. I'm not a pickle eater. I'm not taking your relish. I don't want your relish. I'll give it away. Give it to somebody that eats relish. Let's see what's in here. Chicago Relish by Vienna. Yeah, let me see that. You know what this looks like to me? It looks like something radioactive that like an evil villain would take and then turn him into a like uh, evil Chicago super style villain. relish. What? I, well, you were talking over me. I said it looks like one of those things in movies where like a villain like takes some kind of like radioactive thing and he becomes a super villain. Uh, I think that's uh, there's just something wrong with that color. No, it's just Chicago relish from Vienna. Yeah. Yeah, it's, gross. it's disgusting. Relish. I've had Chicago relish. It's it's gross. Here's two gross. things. Like, and by the way, I say this as a fan of the city of Chicago. Okay, I think Chicago is a great food town. Here's two things they get wrong. They don't know how to make a hot dog, and they don't know they they don't know anything about pizza. That's your opinion. It is my opinion. Your opinion. Yes, it's my opinion. That's it. One of the best pizza place pizza cities in. In the world is Chicago. It's, it's, I don't even think they should call themselves a pizza city because what they make is not pizza. And what does your sister think about that? Uh, she agrees with me. She doesn't eat the pizza there. All right, let me get to another uh, Tom's Tips, Perry, if you uh, will indulge me. This is from... I'm, uh, not, I'm not into pizza that's got like two-inch thick freaking dough. Well, that's deep. That's deep dish crust. pizza. That's deep dish yeah, pizza. Yeah, better known as deep dish pizza. Yeah, if you when I go to Geno's, I get a thin crust. That's different. I prefer a thin crust, and I love their thin crust pizza. Well, you've grown Gino's. up because you used to argue with me over deep dish pizza. No, I just argued over over the name of the of the pizza place. I didn't argue over the pizza. You did. You used to think that deep dish pizza was a good thing, like you know, the casserole uh, with sauce on it, whatever they whatever the hell it is. Anyway, here is a Tom's tip from. Matt Ice. Perry, can you count how many things you got from the mailbag? Perry, I'm pretty sure no. that you got more than that. Count it again. Perry, are I'm you not... sure that's right? I think that's too low. Count it again. You know how to count, right? I'm not counting how many items came in mailbag. Anyway, that's too low. Count it one more time. Jackass. There's no way you have that little 
Just please count it again. I'm not counting everything in my mailbag. Perry, is this a mailbag scam? Bye. Perry, just count it again. Just make sure there's nothing missing here. What do you mean nothing missing here? Count the mailbag. Count the mailbag you have right there. What? There's, there's... Christ. You're being lazy, Perry. Count it again. Today's mailbag or everything? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't believe eight, you, Perry. Nine, Count it again. 10, 11, 12, 13. There's like, for today's mailbag, uh, about 15, 16 items. All right, thank you. Thank you, Mad Ice, for that. Um, here is 17, one. 17, 18. Here is one from Senator Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. Wow. What do you want, Mitch? Mr. Caravello, the American people have brought to our attention your stream. Perry Francis Caravello Live. Wrong! That right there means you're, you're not Mitch McConnell. You're a fucking loser, a liar, and a fake. We were appalled to hear your excessive use of foul language. You were also dispensing false medical advice that 7-Up is a cure for stomach ailments. This advice has led That's to my a number advice, of deaths medical. throughout the country. Moreover, the Senate is united in bipartisan disgust over your ties to the Taliban and promotion of Satanism. Go away, loser! You're 666 crybaby! Garbage is full of it, so get out of here. What? Therefore, you are hereby subpoenaed to. Lies, lies, lies. Lies, 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 get out. <laughs> lies, 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 get out. <laughs> oh, boy. Failure to appear will result in lengthy incarceration at a supermax prison in Coleman, Florida. Sincerely, Senator Mitch McConnell. Never go uh, right there. I'm not going to Florida to visit anybody, to fucking go to a stupid meeting for anything. Not going. Out of the question. Never to happen. Losers. Here's an offer you can do. This is from our friend John Jamin. He's offering 60 bucks. This is all you have to do. It doesn't have to be today. Just for Perry to walk the SAG picket line at Universal or Warner Brothers and film it for Patreon. That means I got to go down there with, uh, with, with uh, um, our cameraman. Uh, if Garrett wants to be a part of it, I'm sure we can uh, drum up some... Uh, some funds for Garrett and I'll walk and I'll have to walk the picket line for like 30 minutes or whatever. Well, I think Garrett, well, here's, um, here's how uh, I would do it. Uh, I would give the 60 bucks to Garrett and then, uh, you know, obviously you'll make money from Patreon for the, for the footage. And I think that could be a good thing. So yeah, let's do that. Let's just go off for accepting on that. Okay. Uh, give me the day. And, uh, yeah, we'll figure out a date. I like that a lot. Uh, we've been talking about that. Uh, okay, that's offer accepted, and um, I mean, if I go if I go alone, I would be going uh, with 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 the with the camera. No, I think and, it'd be tough to do it. Tape everybody and 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 start interviewing. Why why are we in line picketing? What's the problem? Well, based why on is, based on what you did on Sunday, I have no doubts that you'd be able, you'd be able to do a good job. But I think it, it'd, oh, I could do it. Yeah, it'd be better with Garrett though. Exactly. Okay, here's an offer from our friend Ed P. All you have to do, spin the bean boozled wheel and eat the jelly bean color that it lands on 10 times. This stupid thing? Yeah, so it's a game, right? So what you, what you do, so this is what you do, Perry. So there's jelly beans in there, right? So it's a game. Uh, yeah, but it's, 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 it's... It's sealed like there's something inside that I yeah, have. Yeah, there's to something inside. Open it. It's just jelly beans. It's a it's a candy game. Oh Christ! Just open it, Perry. It's a fifty dollars. 
Excuse look, me. Look, these stupid jelly beans, right, right. these stupid Skittles. Do, do not fucking force me to eat this shit. Again, Perry, I, I as I explained fuck. earlier, as I explained earlier. I ate them both! As I explained earlier, baby boy, you're not forced to eat anything. You, If you do eat them, it's because you're paid. And this is a $50, 5 zero offer. That's why I'm asking you to do it. I'm not forcing you to do anything. All right, so just get get it open, please. That's what I'm doing now. Oh, there we go. And you got these. All right. Uh, you don't little... need to read the instructions on how to eat jelly beans, Perry. You can no. put that aside. No. Uh, can we see what's inside? Packs of these. Okay. Okay. Multiple packs? Yes. Okay, right. So here's the game. Here's the game, Perry. Put the thing back on, the lid. And what you do is you spin the wheel. And whatever the wheel lands on, you eat one of those jelly beans ten times for that you get paid $50 from our friend Ed P. Remember, Ed is the guy that took us out to that wonderful steak dinner in New York. So you spin it, give it a good spin. I'm gonna go offer acceptance on this. Now, whatever it lands on, show what it lands on. Juicy pear booger. Juicy pear booger. Okay, so Ooh. that's the color, the orange. That's the orange you have to, so get 10 orange. And you have to eat those uh, booger flavors. Ten orange. Ten orange. Are you fucking crazy? No, I'm not crazy, Perry. You just got fifty dollars for this. You would be the crazy one for not doing it. Ten orange. Jesus Christ. One orange. Get them all out first before you sample any. There's two orange in here, okay? Just get, get. I'm ten. not getting them all out. Yes, you are. You're getting all ten out. Not out of this one. No, not out of that one. Just in general. Three orange in here. I gotta go to another bag and open it. Now there's blue and there's there's white and then then the white ones. Okay, so orange. There's not enough orange in. There's only one orange in this one. There's two orange in this one. Three orange in this one. So we go that egg, three again. One, two. Wait, somebody's telling me that the color actually is green. What's I'll green? tell you what, just get, let's do this. I don't want, I want Ed to. all the oranges out in here. All right, well, get, get them, get, get them all out. But what I would like you to do is maybe, um, Reading this again, maybe he meant to spin it ten times and eat each one ten times. So get a couple of different colors out and whatever. So the first one will be stupid. Yeah, it's stupid, Perry. You were paid fifty dollars for this, so please stop. Go on, go head. on, go on. It's just, I'm just searching just for open the, all the Open all the bags up and then put the. I'm jelly opening beans. all the bags that have a, that have more orange in, in each no, no, of the bags. How about we do this? How, the other bags. How about we do this? How about we do this? Says open, two. open up all the bags and put all the jelly beans in the tin, okay? 
No! Yeah, Perry, I'm, I'm te- hey, Perry, you're the one getting paid. I'm telling you what to do as the director. So don't I'm tell not me no. To just, I know. That's I'm wasting. the stupid one here. I know. Please just open up all the bags and empty them into the tin, okay? All of them. Every single one. Mix them in. Just open up all the bags and put them in the tin. And uh, of course, Ed clarified he meant spin it 10 different times and you get 10 different things. I'm, I apologize for being a little brain dead and not realizing the specifics of it, okay? So I'll fix it. So Perry, all of the bags opened and put all of the jelly beans in the tin. Okay? It shouldn't take that long. I am too technical and too nuts, okay? So no. You want you want the yellow or orange? No, I want all paint. of them in the tin, all mixed in together. All of them. I don't. Okay, well I do, Perry. You're getting paid fifty dollars for this, so this is what it is. So open them all and put all of them in the tin. In the Why do I have to do something so moronic and once again, Perry, you were offered $50 I'm... for this. That's why. Hey, come here. Okay, that all goes there. This garbage goes here. Okay. Let's open. Come on. Come on out. One more out. Okay. Perry, what's the name of this game again? The the on the lid. What's the name of it, Perry? I have oh, Bean Boozled. Bean Boozled. I just want to look up the um, uh, the front of it for myself so I can tell uh, what we're landing on. Bean Boozled. Yeah. yeah. I'm being bean boozled. Bean boozled. Okay, are all the jelly beans in the tin? No, jerky! Okay, why are you yelling at me? Okay, I see it now. So the orange color does not mean that the uh, bean itself is orange. I'm looking at it now. It's, it was hard to see in the camera. So, okay, I'll, I'll... Not all of them. Some of them are orange. Right. I'm not talking got, about got... the beans, Perry. I'm talking about the wheel. So it landed on an orange... But it doesn't mean that the color of the bean is orange. So I got it now. So, and by the way, guys, if, if uh, you're at home and you're frustrated how long this takes, Perry, well, just make yourself a, a drink. You know, pour yourself I'm, a glass I'm being, of water. I'm being very, very fussy and technical so I don't get things <laughs> he's a, Perry's a technical guy. He, you know, he's, he's not going to do this. He's not just going to rip open a bag and pour them in the tin. He's going to completely uh, take his time and carefully... Uh, not, perforate the plastic with the no. It's not. The knife. It's not that I want to take my time. It's that I want to do it so I don't have make a mess. Yeah, we don't want a mess. I don't like mess. making a mess. How many bags do we have left to open? God. One, two. Ballpark. Three, four, five. All right, let's six, just do these quick, Perry. Let's just cut eight. them open, rip them open, drop them in the tin. That, that, let's speed it up a little bit. Not cut.
crap. I never liked when I was a young kid. You guys are forcing me to eat now as an old man. You see, Perry, you used the word force. You were accepting an offer for fifty dollars. It's not like again, you, force. No, me. that's not no again, that's not forcing. Just like you weren't forced to sell your snowboard, just like you weren't forced to do all these other things. You were paid. Well, that'll never happen again. We'll see about that. All right, how many jelly beans yeah. we have in there? Do we have a good mix? Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna fuck with me on on the day before fucking Thanksgiving. Oh, we want to sell your snowboard for for five thousand dollars. Eric, you. all you had to do with that is say no, I'm not interested. But you accepted it, so you weren't forced. Whatever. All right, how about this is the last bag? I think you got enough for ten rotations now. Got four more. Four more to open. Man of detail, Terry Caravello. All right, you got enough for 10 rotations now, okay? 10 rotations? What do you mean? I mean, you got to spin the, the dial 10 times. And each time you spin it, you're going to select the color of the jelly bean that comes up. Okay, so let me see how many are in the uh, the can right now. So, uh, do we have every color? I, I think we have all the cover. If you don't have the color, we'll get it out of another one of the bag, okay? Yeah, let's put the know. lid back on and let's do our first spin, please. Well, the first, actually, the first spin counts. What you got to do one green. You owe us one green. So that was the earlier spin. One green. Okay, juicy pear or booger. That's what it is. So this... It's either a you, juicy pear or it's a booger. Would you call this a green one? That I would call that a green one. Down the hash. You okay. mean I gotta eat it? Yes, Perry. That would, the whole point of this, yes. What does it taste like? Sugar? Does it taste like a juicy pear or a booger? I don't eat boogers, so... Okay, well, I doubt that very much. But does it taste more like a pear or more like a booger? Again, I don't eat boogers, but it's it's got a pear flavor to okay, it. Okay, so you got lucky. You got a pear. Okay, one more spin. Give it another spin. You got nine more to go. Let's see where this one lands. Red. Let me see it. Birthday cake. Birthday cake uh, uh, or dirty, dirty dishwasher. Dish okay, so you got to get a... Uh, that is a... Uh, a white bean with uh, dots on it. The white bean with dots on it. That is birthday cake or dirty dish water. Could be one or the other. Let's see it. Okay. You got lucky with the first one. Will you be lucky with this one? Let's see. That's it. What does it taste like? Birthday cake. Oh, you got lucky two times in a row. Okay. Let's give it another spin. Eight spins left. Uh, buttered popcorn, rotten egg. Ugh. Okay. Now that looks like... Let me see what that one looks like. Uh, that's a yellow one. Yeah, it's a yellow... But it's a yellow uh, bean. So it's yellow and white. You can find that one. I have a reference now in front of me. The yellow, the yellow with white. Oh, so yeah, white and red, or just white. Let me see it. Let me see that one. Uh, that. Let me make sure that looks. No. Like, um, is it yellow? No. Does it look yellow? It's white uh, coated with some yellow. Okay, here, here's a yellow. Here's a yellow and white. That's it. That That's is, exactly it. Now this is either this, this buttered is or popcorn. Or white. That's either butter popcorn or a rotten egg. Let's see what you get. Yeah. Wait. Let me. See. Don't. You can't spit it out. You can't spit it out. That disqualifies you. Fuck. You can't drink water yet either. You got to do the whole thing. You can't. You're not going to get paid, Perry. Put it down. Rotten egg. Ugh. Rotten egg. Okay. Ugh. The gods were not with you on that one. Now you can drink. 
Okay, let's Ugh. do another spin. Fucking bastard. Uh, you, you, you know, you got, I, I, I'm just going to want to do this anymore. Well, Perry, then you don't get paid, and then all this would be for nothing. So spin it, please. Bitch. Yeah, tell me all the names you want. What do we get? Let's see where it landed. Oh, liver and onions. Let me see where it landed. Cappuccino, liver, and onions. Cappuccino, liver, and onions. Let me see. Okay, that's a brown one. It's like the darkest one that's in there. And that'll be cappuccino or liver and onions. Right there. That would be it. Okay, let's pop that down. Hopefully you get the cappuccino. Liver and onions. Liver and onions, okay. Doesn't seem like you mind it too much. You gotta finish. I eat liver. You gotta finish it before you can slug water. Okay. How do you finish it when it's stuck in your teeth? Uh, that doesn't mean I hate about these things. All right, we got six left. Let's do another one. You're a fucking asshole. I know. I'm an asshole that wants to get you paid. A terrible person. Spin. Yep. Six spins left. Oh, please. Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it. Peach and barf. Ugh. Peach or barf. Okay. Uh, let me just see. Let me just see where it landed. It's a, it's a, like an orange with red dots on it. Got yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's basically orange with red dots. So find that one. Bam. Okay. Well, hopefully you get peach and not barf, but I'm sure you'll tell us. Remember, you can't drink the water until that's 100% uh, you know, digested and swallowed. Oh, you're sick. I know. Start to piss me off. What did you get? Yeah. Is it barf or peach? What do you think, you fuck? <laughs> Wait, you can't do the water yet. You got to completely swallow it. Ugh. Ugh. Puke. All right. Does it actually taste like puke? Feels like backup that goes to my chest. Yeah. Okay. That's puke. Disgusting. All right. Halfway there. Let's do another spin. Halfway there. You're a fucking asshole. I know. Keep calling me names. Toasted marshmallows. Stink. Uh, stink. Stink bug. Uh, let me see white, it. With, with dots on it. That looks like a white one with brown spots. So it's either a toasted marshmallow or a stink bug. There's one big, one one big white spot. Uh, we, let me just see that. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's the one. Okay, toasted marshmallow or stink bug. Yeah. Is it that you don't like marshmallows, or did you get the stink bug? Stink bug. I eat marshmallows. What does it taste it... like? It's weird because it, it, it feels like I got bugs in my fucking hot chocolate. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You evil fuck. Four left. Four now? Not four now. That's what it's been. Mm. Counting down. Count. Four now. Like, I just made it up. Prisoner. Are we doing a cap transfer? Huh? Never mind. Oh, we are yeah, doing, I'm, we are I'm, doing I'm, a cap transfer. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm right now in, in the Turkish prison in Midnight Express. Uh, no one under 50 will get that reference. Okay. Let's do another spin. Uh, no one under 50 will get that reference. Yeah, all my friends. Right, 
Enough, that's enough water, Perry. It's enough water. Peach barf. Again. All right. Well, you got barf last time. Let's hope uh, for better times this time. That's Remember, that's the uh, orange with red dots. Yes. And no water this one. You've had way too much water. Please. That's it. Good. Remember, no, eat it. Hopefully you get peach. No water either way. What'd you get, Peach or Barf? No Peach, that's for goddamn sure. Okay, Barf, that's that's uh, unfortunate. Okay, let's spin again, Perry. Skip yes. the water. Fucking, you're an asshole. Three left. God damn it. You've used all your water lifelines. What did that land on? Cappuccino. Cappuccino or liver and onions. Liver, Last time liver we got and liver and onions. onions. Let's maybe uh, hope for a cappuccino this time. A dark bean. There's one dark bean. Dark bean with little white spots, yeah. Um, yep, that's it. It's actually it's actually all dark. I don't that's see it. Anything. That's the only the only one dark in there is that one. Yeah. Did you get liver and onions again? Yes. Ooh, he started out on a good run. But, like uh... raw liver and onions, not even cooked. All right, couple, yeah. uh, couple more. Let's do one more spin. Uh, well, not one more. You got two more spins. Let's do this one. You can call me a name first. That's no, no, no water. Remember, you use the water lifelines. Otherwise, you forfeit the what? money. You're a crook. You can do it when we're done. Spin it. I get one more? No, two more. Spin it. Bitch. That looks like a new one. Blue. Yeah, berry blue. Yay. Berry blue or toothpaste. I think you're, uh, it's kind of okay either way. Oh, blueberries. One beautiful blueberry right there. All right. Let's right pop, there in let, the middle. Let's pop that blue, blue. beautiful blueberry. Relief. Is it blueberry or toothpaste? B blueberry. Oh, very good. You're doing good. Okay. So together. All right. Let's do another one. And then you're going to do one bonus after this for taking so long. So two more, and then we're done. Let's do one. No, I'm only doing one more, you No, you're fuck. doing two more to make up for the delay. So this is the second to last one right now. You're an ass. I know. Pomegranate. Let me see it. Pomegranate old baggage. Let me see it. Let me see where the, I want to see where the arrow Stress is. Bandage. Okay. Uh, interesting. All right. That's an interesting one. Pomegranate or used bandage. Now, this one looks like um, red. It's, it's like red. a pink color. All red. Red. Right there. All right. Remember, no water. With this, so, so you're either gonna get pomegranate or an old bandage, like one of those ones you find uh, floating in a public pool. It's sure not pomegranate, that's for damn sure. <laughs> what does it taste like? Weird. Like, describe it. Does it taste like, like, uh, you know, Iron. yeah, I, I, I can say an old bandage. So is it as if you found an old band aid like laying on the ground and picked no, it up? No, it, well, like when you're when you're when you're a little kid and you're 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 biting the the old band aid off your arm. That's what it tastes like. Okay. Yeah. I mean, having never yeah. eaten one, I, but I can only imagine. <laughs> uh, okay, hey, one more bonus one to do. Let's make it a good spin. 
This is the last one, you loser. Well, you don't have to call me a loser. I just said it was the last one. God damn it. Where we land on? Oh, God. No, 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 no. Toasted marshmallow or stink bag? Stink bug. Let's see it. White with black. Too bad they don't have a pickle flavor. Uh, okay, white and black. Let's do it. Last one down the hatch. This is it. No more. White. With, uh, you know, some brown. Let me oh, see that one. Have... Not the white one with uh, colors. No, it's got nothing on it. This is white. There's a little blue mark on this one. New one. I think this one. No, that's not white. There are other bags there that you can cut open if you need another one. No. Not interested. White. Completely white. No, it's white with brown, Perry. So if, it, if you see it in one of the bags that you haven't opened yet, I would get it out of that. Oh, wait, what's this? There's a couple of brown spots on this Let one. Let me see yeah. it. That might be it. Let me see it. There's only two white ones. See the brown spot? No. Um. Yeah, I do. Okay, yeah, that's it. That's it. Thank you. Okay. This is a marshmallow. Oh, well, there you go. You got a... You got toasted marshmallow. So you ended on a good note. I think you should so do one I'm... more because of all the name calling you did to me. No. As a way to say I'm sorry. Fuck. One more. One more. This is how I tell you I'm sorry. You booger. All right. Let's okay, tutti fruity uh, stinky socks. Oh, that's a new one. Good. All right. Oh, God. We haven't got that one. No, this is the white one with every, all all the colors on yeah, it. Right. So it's the rainbow colored. Right there. All right. It's either tutti fruity or stinky socks. Yeah. Yeah. Disgusting. So I assume you got stinky socks. Mm-hmm. What does it taste like? Stinky socks. We got to do a PCL themed uh, jelly beans like that, like uh, Perry's carpet or you know a pear, uh, you know lint from Perry's uh, you know, uh, chandelier. This fucking thing is going in the garbage. No, right don't put now. it. In the, I was gonna say don't put it in the garbage. Let's save that. Just just put it aside with all the bags. Oh, you're an asshole. That was, that was fun, and you got paid for it. You would never do that for free, but you got paid for that. God. We could do like a pickle flavor. Uh, Fuck you, dude! I'm just spitballing, Perry. That's just garbage, man! Yeah, don't throw it away. I just said don't throw it away. Literally just said it. Just put it to the side. And you got all the bags of the extra beans in there? The extra beans are right here. Put those in the tin. They're not gonna fit in this goddamn thing, you fucking oh, moron! Stop slamming everything, you maniac. God damn it! Hey, this is the relish box. Yeah, that's nothing to do with it. So the, you took the bags uh, out no, and put I them on the desk. The box to put something of this shit in. Oh, stop yelling. Dumbass. I'm the I'm the dumbass. It took you an hour to open up bags of jelly beans, and I'm the dumbass. Why would you? No, no, don't put it in the box, Perry. Shut up! Don't tell me to shut up. Take it out of the box. Do Give not put this. it in the box. You fucking loser! Why would you keep that in the box? I'm keeping things in my house! I'll throw it right in the fucking trash, asshole! Well, that's what I'm trying to avoid. Duh! Oh, yeah, put it on the chair. Put it on the orange chair for now. This is extra work for me now, because i got to make sure he keeps it. Uh, by the way, I was just going to give you a compliment. I was like, you know, if we did this two weeks ago, you probably would have rage quit or threatened to turn the computer off. You didn't do that. You haven't Actually, you haven't threatened to stream once tonight. So I'm saying very good job, Perry. 
Very good job. You did, uh, like, even, I was going to, I think I was talking to Garrett about it. Like, you had a major, like, I've been impressed with you lately. Like, you had a major freak out uh, on Monday stream. But even that, you rebounded from, and you came back, and you didn't, like, threaten to quit or anything. And I was, I'm giving you a compliment where it's due. Thank you. Um, let me just see. Actually, let me see if I can pull that up here. This is from you the other day. Uh, Garrett sent me this. We were talking about it earlier. Um, second year. We're going to go longer than three hours today, Perry. Uh, we're not doing six hours. No, we're, we're not doing six hours. I promise you that. Okay, so this is from Monday. This is your probably your biggest freak out in a while. But yet you didn't turn anything off. You didn't, you know, you came back. So that, uh, this is from Monday. I just wanted you to see this. Get off my goddamn computer! You fucking loser! Get the fuck off! Go away! Go away! Get out of my head! Forever! I'm done! Get out of here! <clears throat> Do you even remember what you were yelling That's at? That's maniac. Yeah, that's what you that's what you look like when you're a fucking maniac. But but you didn't quit. And you you came back and you did your thing. I'm saying like two weeks ago you probably would have. Uh, it, it, I I'm saying I'm impressed. It's the new medicine, that's why. I, I think that's right. I'm level. I'm 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 more level. I, I I'm just saying I've noticed a difference and I would think the hardcore audience has noticed a difference. So anyway. Yeah, I'm right, more so level. Let's let's uh let's let's move things along if we could. Let's finish up, please. No, we're not finishing up, Perry. We're we're picking up. Uh... Hello, Perry. We would love to have you as a spokesperson for Sprite as long as you dispose of all your seven up drinks and drink more Sprite. I'm never gonna be a spokesperson for Sprite, you monkey. God fucking almighty. Hi, Perry. I love you very much. You're so kind and gentle. People are mean to you, but I love you, heart. Thank you. I'm going to write a personal song just for you. Ariana Grande. Thank you, Ariana. That's a pleasure, and I, I appreciate that. Is that the young girl from Calabasas that uh, was dating uh, Justin Bieber? Is it the blood? Let us play. Hail Perry. Sucker of cocks, Satan worshipper and car crash faker, forced gay kisser and old man rapist, liar and gullible moron, 1992. Everything in that, in that saying is a complete lie, other than what happened to me in the year 1992. You rapist scumbags. I implore everyone to halt all donations to PCL for one month and donate those funds to my campaign. May God bless me. Piss in the humidifier. I'm not pissing in my humidifier, you loser. God, people are fucking evil bastards. Bones up demons. PCL fans have been recruited to join our new cult, Javos for Satan. Would you like to be enlightened? Or should I say an archand? Um, wrong. Don't want anything to do with you weirdos. God damn it. I don't even know the name of it. Snort. Well, 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 if it isn't my arch nemesis, I say we bury the hatchet. Just join a new cult, Javos for Satan. You in? Join us, fat boy, fire. Fat boy? 205 is not fat. I was 210 uh, a couple weeks ago, but I'm down five pounds, loser. Skateboarding a little more. It's just too hot over here in the valley. Let's get over to the Santa Monica Park. You were baptized. 
but your Kia never was. Since you won't drive your car through the back door, how about driving it into the pool for a baptism? I don't drive my car into swimming pools or into the ocean or a lake. That's just moronic because you're a fucking moron. Want me to destroy my beautiful machine. Even though it's 2000, it's 23 years old, and it drives like it's brand new. It's well maintained and well taken care of. Thank you for subscribing. Evil, wicked scumbags. God, I hate this stream. Dan Aykroyd here. Just join a new cult, Javos for Satan. Been sent to recruit more demons in the PCL community. Join us. Watch Ghostbusters. Fire. Boom. Way, loser. I, I, no, I still got that stupid CD or DVD. Waste of time. Ghostbusters don't impress me. And I watched as he opened the sixth seal. And behold, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became as black as sackcloth, and the moon became as blood. Whatever. I'm not interested in your moronic sayings. Fran, it's dangerous to drive your Kia directly into the pool. Best bet is to set up a ram to make sure it gets all the way in. Kia baptism. Hail me. Never going to happen, you stupid ass. Perry, you need to blend up the snowboard and skis into a shitwood pole puree and oh, get to finally yourself. become one with them. You won't need him in Florida. I'm not going to your flat, fucking fake ass, stupid fucking state. Flat ass fucking Florida! Stake your flat fucking state and shove it up your flat ass! God damn it, stop it! I'm not going there to visit anybody there! I'm not going there to see fucking family down there! I'm not going there for any fucking reasons! I hate flat fucking Florida! Which I got a ton of girlfriends that live down there too! But I'm not going because I can't stand flat. Go to fucking Colorado. I'll be in Colorado to see my family in Colorado. But I'm not going to fucking Florida. Catch my flat fucking Florida ass. Because I'll never be in Florida. You fake fucking freaks. Out loud, Perry, not to yourself. What was the full name, year, and of the porn movie you were in? I don't remember. I'll tell you the God's honest truth, I don't even remember. What was the name of the movie? What actresses and actors were in? I don't remember the name of the movie. I don't remember any of the actors and actresses. I, I, no, I don't remember. I'm sorry. I don't remember. As a film extra, yeah, I don't remember what year that was. It was between, um, I'm thinking 90, 98 or 99. But I don't remember the name of that movie or, or uh, who was in that film. Um, yeah, I don't remember those, uh, those act actors or actresses in that film. There was one that I was just sitting in the backyard talking to, like, for hours on end. She's just totally naked, and I'm, I'm totally clothed, and she's totally naked. And we're, we're sitting and talking to each other like we're sitting in, 
inside the uh, um, San Diego Convention Center at a, at a Comic Con or something, just sitting around talking to each other. But I mean, I'm just checking out this beautiful girl. She was so fine and fit. And I was just pretending that she was wearing a costume in the back of my mind. Rand, he, and I enjoyed Sloppy Gabe. Ut sucks. Ut, ut sucks in the... <laughs> He blew his low da- din mime, mime mouth. And if you read it fast, he blew his low to my mouth. No, that never happened. That never happened. Liars. Stop fucking going down there. Why can't anybody fucking forget about what happened in my fucking path you pricks i want sponsorship i don't want to keep reading this evil sick garbage to all never have sponsorship okay i'm glad you see you're doing better i'm not doing better i'm pissed got these evil fuckers that just keep making me swear 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 how the hell do i get sponsorship if i keep swearing all right Perry, knock it off just read this one this is nice just keep up your med your meds we love you, man. Uh, oh, by the way, who is your favorite NFL team? Chicago Bears. Give me a break. My hometown. Good, bad, or ugly, they're still my favorite team. I'll give the Green Bay Packers uh, a good a good thumbs up, too, because uh, they're a very good team as well. Can you dump the relish in your diaper for for this five dollar super chat? Hell no. I'm not wasting a nice jar of where'd that stuff go? Went behind me in that box with the with the other garbage that I want to just dump. Can I open up some mail or I mean these last three boxes or no? No, we're gonna do what we're doing right now is reading super chats. Thank you. Okay. Attention PCL fans, this is Perry Caravello, and I want sincerely apologize for saying I don't read it out loud, Perry, not to yourself. Saying seven up is a stomach settler when it is not to make to make up it's like Alka Seltzer to me, you loser. To make up for it all for I will chug down I will never chug down any fucking sprite. You motherfucker, go fuck yourself! Get out of here! Get out of here! Fuck you! I'm gonna throw this shit away! You prince! All right, you can open up one of those boxes now. God damn you! Fucking pieces of shit! All right, Perry, that part's over now. Now we're transitioning to this. Don't take it out on the box. Sure. Goddamn fucking bullshit. What the fuck is in here? Damn it. Oh, Christ. Sure. I would check, check for a note first before you get into any of this. Yeah, it's right here. Well, read it. Before you open the other stuff, read the note first to give it context. Yes. that's. Didn't your mother teach you that when you were a little kid? Read the note first. Oh, God. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> I bet you thought it was Gina that sent you this. But no, it's me, the meat man. Fucking creep. I hope you like the pictures, book, and the and the custom t-shirt that was specially made for you that confesses. I don't have any love for you, you freak. <clears throat> confesses you love your love for me. I miss the days when we worked at Albertson's Baby Boy. Thank God Chris Fontaine is producing the the bag boy that's going to show the the best years of your of your lives together. I also been helping the the writers with the details when when uh, some of the true true stories when we worked at Albertsons. We got Randy Quaid to be playing the manager. Of this story, oh my god. And ton of guest stars for different episodes, such as Ted Nugent, Casey Anthony, and Bruce Willis. Also the season finale with some Hunter Biden. Yeah, yeah, like you're going to put Bruce Willis in this. Yeah, sure. Hunter Biden, where uh, we all together take a wacky advance. We you know, have a wacky adventure to Mexico. Where we get into a, a bit of trouble that uh, <clears throat> leaves us on a cliffhanger. Love the meat man. The meat man. Blowjobs and anal. Three hearts. Disgusting. There's the stupid letter. I, I get it. A little long for a letter meat man. By the way, I like that that's the one uh, time where it actually proved me wrong that uh, reading a letter first is appropriate. That probably would have been better to read it last. But anyway, now that you know who it's from, can you open up the package? You don't have to read that out loud, Perry. We got it. I'll never wear this. Because that is not him, and that is not me. That's not him? That's not him. Okay. Uh, what else you got in there? That's going to go in the garbage, by the way. It's that, not one's, for sale. That, that, that one's okay to throw in the garbage. Unless That's... somebody out there wants it. If you're watching right now, and you want that shirt, and you want Perry to sign it for you, get in touch with uh, Jim or pcloffers at gmail.com if you want to claim your uh, shirt. Perry will sign yeah, it. Yeah, by the end of this stream. I, I was just going to say that. By the end of this stream, uh, highest bid on that shirt uh, gets it. You can have your own shirt signed by Perry rather than him just throwing it away. Or you can pick through Perry's garbage later after the stream and get it for free. Oh my god, this is just some kid. It's no way the meat man. He's a freaking just some punk kid. That's Albert's not what he looks like? How did he look? What did he look like? That's not what the old man looks like. He's an old guy. Please. All right, Perry, oh, yeah. are you going to throw that away as well? I don't know what, what I'm going to do with it. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll add that to the list. Uh, PCLoffers at gmail.com if you want any of these. I will make sure he mails it, too. It's not trash. Too no, no. Keep that, Perry, because we need that. Keep that. Just put it with put it, put it in the box oh. that you have over there. That box right there. Very good. That one and this one and a book. Oh, God. Put the other bag in the box. Anger management workbook for men. The control, <clears throat> take control of your anger and master your emotions. Well, thank you for this book. You could use that actually. Flip through it. Let's. Is there any good uh, advice in there? Anger management book. Let's see the contents. Uh, let's see about anger. What is anger? Let's it's just like read the whole book. Let's just do like a book, uh, an audio book version right now. Oh, I'm not gonna go do that stupid shit. Cause you gotta, cause there's pages in here like, like the biography of you. Uh, let's see, knowledge is power. So don't be afraid to consider the bio, bio, blah, 
biological side of who you are as a man, and then you've got, you know, Good what advantage. advances, what advan, what advan, what advantages does anger have to for you? You know, you write down your your remarks for yourself. Yeah, it's right, this is a good. Keep this. Keep this. This this is good for you. Yeah, exactly. This is a good book. So, all right, Meat Man's not all bad. Was that everything in the box? Yeah. Nope, that's not everything in the box. It's on the bottom. Uh, not everything in the box. There's this. What's that? Nothing. All right, last oh, item from the box. And then we got this. Another picture. To Perry from Gina. Like, uh, he knows... Is that him? Oh, that's you. That's nice. You can keep that. Sure. I don't know where I'll put it, but I'll keep it. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so if you want that shirt or if you want that picture of the Meat Man, Perry will autograph both. By the end of the stream, you need to get in touch with Jim PCL, whisper him, or send an email to uh, pcloffers at gmail.com. And how about this, Perry? Why don't we give Jim a cut of that sale since he's doing all this hustle for you? Fine. In a, in a yeah, routine. fine. Okay, do you think fine. that's fair? Fine. Yes. Because I think of that's hey, b b before you bop away, I'm talking about something important. I think Jim is the guy that's negotiating these things to you. He's getting their addresses, he's getting you whoever wants it. I think he's pay. entitled yes. to a little bit of a cut. Do you, don't, do you agree? Yes. Okay. All right. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe ten percent. It was twenty-five. I don't give a shit. Okay. Uh, get to the next box, please, and let's uh, then we'll get back to the stream. See, you arranging this box is something you can do after the stream. This is this is robbing time from the stream. Now you. <laughs> Come here. There we go. All Oh, while Perry's taking so long to open this, uh, I'll also promote that uh, now through Monday, Perry's cameo, a lot of people's cameo, the cameo is having a big uh, Christmas sale in July uh, sale, so it's 25% off a cameo if you've been holding off on getting a, a cameo from Perry. He's the best in the bit. Okay. <laughs> Should I open this first or read this first? I'm a, I'm a proponent of reading the letter first. So read it first. Go in here. Unless it's a novel. Let's see. Let's see how long it is. No, it's, it's a not. real short one. Uh, baby. Oh, fuck. Gina better shut her disgusting mouth. Freeze your turds so you can shove them up your, at your butt and eat me out while I take a shit. Love Gina from Gina Crown. You're disgusting. How dare you make a comment like, take my turds and freeze them. First off, they're too soft to even fucking touch you, nutcase. Freeze my shit. God, you're a psychopath. I don't know you. I don't know you. God forbid I know you. If that's really you. That's the thing, is the real Gina, I don't think, would ever talk like that to me. At least the real Gina better not ever talk like that to me.
This looks like cookie trays. I think it's poopy trays. To freeze the turds in. She's sick. Yeah, you, you're absolutely right. Top, top, top pathy. Top, oh wait. T O P B A B A T H Y. Top bathy. Three piece, 15 even. Uh, uh, let's see it. Can you take it out of the plastic? Let's, let's see it. Tool candy. It's it's supposed it, these are candy trays. Right, but, but obviously like it can be used trays. to hold poop. Poopy trays. Do you want to do that? Sick. Do you want to use those? No fucking way. All right, so I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Do you want to get? Do you want to auction those off too? If you want Perry's poopy trays, and he'll sign anything. By the way, I got an update on the shirt. You ready? To, ready for this, Perry? Put it over there. So what do we got to auction? We got what the meat. Shirt? We got the Meat Man shirt, we got the uh, picture, and we got the poopy tray. Please don't dart away. And okay, you want to get that? This stupid thing. Okay. This stupid thing. Put that over there. That's not you. Not to throw those away. I'm not. I'm not keep. I'm not doing this past this stream. But uh, we already have an offer uh, on the shirt. So so here's the bid on the shirt. It's hundred and twenty dollars already on the shirt for you to. All you had to do is sign it and mail it away. Isn't that great? Hundred twenty bucks for that T-shirt. Fine. Yeah, yeah. Minus uh, Jim's cut for facilitating that for you. So that's seventy-five dollars. That's the. Or Jim gets a hundred dollars and I hey, get Perry, twenty dollars. Stop talking over. Me. Let's just. I want to get through this. So you hear what uh, I just said? How many? How many more times do you want to talk over me, folks, so I can get? I'm going to tell time? you right now. Give Jim a hundred dollars. Okay, Perry, the... Perry, please. Uh, if you wanted me to give Jim a hundred dollars, Jim is making enough money off of the stream. Uh, anyway. Harry, for the love of God, can you let me? Two people can't talk at once. I appreciate the generosity, but just chill. I'm, all I'm saying is, if you want that shirt, you at home, it's one hundred twenty dollars right now. So you got a bit over that amount. Okay, contact Jim PCL in the Twitter chat or send an email to pcloffers at gmail dot com. Okay. All right. That's one of the most expensive T-shirts I've ever seen. Right. Okay. And you want to give Jim extra money? That's great. But let's try to get more money for it okay please put the hat on we're not taking a siesta right now okay pull up a chair and let's get through this thank you bones up demons join us in the javos for satan tonight at the first ritual of unholy fire i will be sacrificing a quarter pounder with cheese fire those are the only sandwiches that I used to prefer eating at McDonald's. It's a quarter pounder with cheese. Not those skanky fish sandwiches. Morons. Quarter pounder with cheese, nothing on it. Just cheese and the burger. That was it when I was a young kid. As I got older, I developed uh, food tasting habits. And now I'll eat quarter pounder with cheese, lettuce, tomato, and onion only. That's it. Fran, the Italians crucified Jesus. Is this why you are always announcing your Italian heritage? Are you proud that you killed my former master's son? I got no comment to make to that because that that, that just scares me how that was written and who it was who it came from, if it came really from Fran. From Fran. Fran. You driving your car into the pool should be celebrated with a pool party. Will you oh, be able to drive up. it out of the pool? Party. Hail me, the devil. Shut up the fuck up. This evil, these evil, evil, demented, demonic, sick people. <sighs> Penny, please do not, I repeat, do not fly down to Florida when you move there. Big boppers like yourself have a bad history with airplanes. Small airplane. Collision. 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 Coffee. Never flying to Florida, so go fuck yourself. Asshole. Perry, please explain how you got off in Randy's mouth, but didn't get off when Blue Iris made love to your mouth and ass. Do you only get off from dudes? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, did you, you get off no when, uh, when uh, Blue Iris was blowing you? And if, which I, I think you said you didn't. So I don't did, remember. 
I why, don't remember. Why did you get not get off with a woman and get off with a man? I guess it's what they're. I saying. get off with women every time I'm with a woman. I was disgusted with having my mouth in a, in a 97 year old woman. That was gross. She was that old, maybe not, but she was an old lady. If you had a choice between a 97 year old woman and a 30 year old man, what would you choose? 97 year old woman and in a heartbeat. I had a choice. Tom, aside yes. from being a serial rape victim, I don't know your background. You seem like a sharp guy. Did you ever think you'd work with a gay maniac? Happy gay, happy gay, Perry. Thank happy you. Gay. Happy gay, Thank sure. You. Thank you for being polite on that comment. Thank you for looking up. Please stop looking down. Got neck pains. That's, that's right. Well, you can solve the neck stupid. pains by turning off one of the humidifiers, but to do no, that... I want to finish this stupid stream. Okay, then just look up. This stream sucks. Don't say that. This, this stream sucks. I can't stand it. I, I disagree with you, Perry. I don't think it sucks at all. I think it's a wonderful stream. Moralization. Gross. Oh, stop with that. Gross, gross. Giving me a headache. All right, Perry, just pay much attention. Much longer. I don't know, Perry. We're just going to... Not that much longer, but we're going to get through some stuff. Okay, we had a lot of weeds today, so we got some uh, time to make up. Attention PCL fans, I will be doing a door giveaway during the stream. All doors must go. Type 123 in chat to enter for a chance to win. O O O H H. I don't know what the hell this moron is saying. And uh, you're not allowed in my home, period. Hey, Perry, do me a favor. I think you have to deliver your door, but your ring cam, I think all of ring is actually down. Like the whole service is down. So I can't pull up the ring cam. You just grab whatever's out there and bring it in quickly. Thank you. <clears throat> Never seen that before. It says login to ring is complete, is unavailable. When I go to refresh it, like the whole thing crashes. So. Looks like it's a ring problem, not an us problem. Very, very interesting, signore. I got two cakes here. I'm not eating either one. Stream is almost over, so I'm not eating either one. I pray just show it, please. Just stop being a jerk. Jesus. Save the bag. Save the bag. I'm going to get these away. Moist and delicious, a seven up cake. Uh, Two of them. Very nice. Thank you very much, seven up. Uh, what store did this come from? Okay. The grocery outlet. Is that it's probably a cake to show you how good you've been lately, and it's probably a nice celebration. Yes, like, hey, you know, so you should. And I thank Seven Up, and I and I thank uh, so, uh, the, the grocery outlet for uh, bringing these to to me. Thank you very much. Thank you, because I'm a Seven Up fan, and Seven Up Seven Up needs to sponsor the stream. 
All right. <laughs> Let me get to a couple of Tom's tips, Perry. You want to keep that there or you want to move it to the side? I'll bring it over to the dining room no, table. No, don't move to the dining table. Either put it on your lounge chair or keep it here. Stays. All right, let's go. I mean... No, no. Perry, I just said I'm going to catch up on some Tom's tips. So I need you to pay attention. Okay. Uh, here's one from we'll here's one from your SAG AFTRA rep. Hello, Perry. This is a representa uh, representative of SAG AFTRA. We are compelled to inform you that our negotiations are almost complete, but we need your help to finish them. What are you talking about? One of the top represent representatives of the production firms is Randy Callahan, who has made a request for you to recreate what happened back in 1992 with him Never! in his office. Never! The entire negotiations rest on this one request. They won't budge unless you do it. We know that you're over that, and we hate to ask you this favor, but can you kindly do us a favor to get things back on track? Thousands of Never. folks on the picket line need to get back to work, and this is their one chance, Perry. It all comes down to you. As a sag after member, you should be there Never. with your union brothers and sisters and be willing to make sacrifices for all of them. Please consider Never. it. Please Bring consider it, Perry. Back. Please don't talk over me. Please consider it, Perry. We are all counting on you. Sincerely, your SAG AFTRA uh, brothers and sisters in arms. Wow. I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to stay silent. This is disgusting. So that's a no. You fucking weirdos. You sick, sick, sick fucking weirdos. So that's a no. Damn right, it's a no. Just just to be sure. Fucking idiots. Here's a Tom's tip from a Mr. Danny DeVito. You know who that is? Yes, I know who DeVito is. Perry, I saw you perform in the 1990s and still rank it as possibly the worst acting in the history of comedy. Oh, please. Your spaghetti joke, which is basic buffoonery about beating your wife, is a complete embarrassment to all decent Italians. Everywhere. That was not in the 19... Was that in the 1990s? Wait. Okay. Go on. Everything about you is disgusting, lazy, dirty, and gay. <laughs> Even your filthy fedora is just a tool for your homosexual antics. Everyone knows that the button <laughs> and feather on the side is code that you're available to other dudes. I hope you're in... I hope... I heard that you're moving to Florida and plan to find a new Denny's uh, men's room when you get down there to turn gay tricks. That's spin not in our Danny. faces, and now everyone in Hollywood wants you to leave. You will never work in this town again. Sincerely, Danny DeVito. That is not Danny DeVito. That's a lie. I know who that is, but I'm not going to say who that is. Oh, okay, you know a lot of things. Uh, yeah. Here's an offer from somebody named Dolber. Okay, this, and now, Perry, this is easy. It's $10. $10 to eat 10 Skittles. That's a dollar for a tiny little Skittle. I ate 10 Skittles already, you fucking losers! Stop fucking making me eat that sweet shit! God damn it! Uh, you didn't eat Skittles. You ate jelly beans. This is and this is a different thing. You get ten dollars. That's a that's a ridiculous. No. Re, Perry, just before you talk with your idiocy, uh, that's a ridiculous ratio to be paid. It's for every one you have to do ten. That's ten dollars just to eat ten. You can do that in one handful. Let's just do it. You got plenty of Skittles here. Ten dollars, Perry. A free ten dollars. Three years ago, you'd be begging me for ten dollars. There we go. That's the right answer. Offer accepted. And then I think you throw the fucking bag away, right? No, you're gonna keep it. Well, that one you can throw away. Yeah, the green one. That's fine. Ten skittles, ten dollars. Dom, Sour. This one came in. This one came in early. Uh, open one wild bag. Don't, don't open two bags. Pick one. Wild berry. Wild berry. Wild berry. Wild berry. I prefer the flavor of wild berry than sour. Fair enough, Barry. You're in charge of that. Skittles or Skittles. Ten of them. Here's three. 
Yeah, you gotta show it in your yeah. hand before you do it. Just so we know. I will. Bad. I will. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Whoop. Let me see. Ten. All right, that's ten. Go ahead. You can't just wash it down with water right away. You got to swallow it. Sit down. No shit, stupid. Well, that's too. I never know with you. You're always trying to uh, circumvent something. Now, listen, Perry. While you got the Skittles bag open, all you got to do is another handful, and you can turn off the humidifier right behind you. That's all you got to do. Why would you give me the finger? You just did one handful. You got just the same thing what you just did now, which would be a handful, and you can turn off that humidifier. Super easy. I want to end the fucking show. Well, that's not happening right now. We're over, you fuck. Stop calling me names, you f. And we started a little late, and we had a lot of weed, so we're getting through it. And I told you before we started, this is not a hard three hours. Friday is supposed to be two to three, three hours, casual mailbag stream. Sometimes we go a little long. That sugary shit fucking poisoned me. So if you want to turn on the humidifier, just get one little handful. I want to turn off the fucking humidifier. Right. In order to do that, you got to take one little handful of Skittles. The like you just had, just do it again, Perry, without bopping. Do it again, and you can turn it off. Just you got already got the bag open. Don't be stupid. You got the bag open. Just pour some in your hand and get it over with. You just did it. You're making a big deal out of nothing. Fucking asshole. I know. I'm the asshole. Let me see the handful. Stop it already! I don't want to eat that drink goddamn thing! Go fuck yourself! I'm going to turn the goddamn computer on! Oh, there we go. First threat of the day. You lasted a long time without threatening that. Doesn't that fake voice hurt your throat? It hurts my throat. Doing the stream hurts my fucking mind, body, and throat! All right, let's just, hey, Perry, you are you know, you could have had this done 10 minutes ago. Can we please see the handful? Thank you. That's a handful. fucker! But I don't want to do all these! Well, that's the handful. That's it. If you want to eat, no, Perry, don't take any out. That's the handful you chose. Eat that, and you can turn off the humidifier. Please. Let's just get it over with. All of them, not one. All of them. You don't have to eat them one at a time. Do however you want to do it. Oh, God damn you, motherfucker! No. Mother. Fire. No, that's yes, one. No. No. Yes, no, wrong, baby boy. You turn off one. With each handful, you can turn off one. You want to turn off all three, you got to eat three handfuls. That's the rules. Oh, God damn. I'm done with you, you son of a <laughs> Perry. You fucking look. Knock it off right now. All right. Turn off the big one. You can now turn it off. But replace it with the seven up one. Put the seven one up one on the TV tray. Thank you for your cooperation. Okay, bring the seven one up um, over to the uh, TV tray, please. Thank you.
Oh, well, when that seven up one's a lot closer, you really see how much that because that thing was filled to the brim earlier. That that's uh, that's working all right. No scam there. Now what? Now you sit down and come back. Thank you. Can I move these over there? Yeah, why not, Barry? I'll be a good guy since you're. Thank a... you. And then please come back. All right, Perry. Thank you. Was that so bad? Now what? Now what is uh, your stream? <laughs> the thing that you uh, love to dart away from. The thing that I'm, I'm on. Oh, oh, now we're over time. No, Perry, see, we don't have any hard limits here, okay? I do. No, well, no, we don't, okay? That, that, Friday, that, that's just, I have a major excuse limit me, on Friday. Perry, we're not followed by law and order at like 8 o'clock, okay? It doesn't work that way. It's not network television, okay? We, we go until we go. You go until we go. No, 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 go. not you. No, we. Perry Caravello Live. It's the way it's been going on for years. Move that water bottle off to the side, please. Oh, fuck. Son of a bitch. This is all trash anyway. Oh, God. Ah. Ugh, fuck. Oh, Christ Almighty. The Game and Alliance can't wait for Mr. Carmelo to speak at our convention in Florida. He can talk Never about going. his experiences out in Proud Gay Man. Never going! Take your stupid fucking Gay Men's Alliance and shove it up your gay ass! You fuck! I'm never going to fucking Florida! Got it? End of story! Out of the fucking way! I'm not going! Loser. The Game Men's Alliance would also like to extend out in Proud Conference invite to Mr. Carmelo's longtime loving partner, Mr. Randy Callahan. That's another reason why I'm not going. I never want to see that fucking motherfucker's face again. I'll be in jail after beating the fucking shit out of this piece of garbage. Uh, by the way, uh, update to our uh, auction going on right now of uh, Perry's mailbag items from today. And I think we should do this going forward rather than you just throwing things away. If somebody wants it, we don't trust you to keep it very long. So if they want it, they got to get it right now. So uh, there's a guy who's going to offer $100 for the signed uh, Meat Man picture, meaning you got to sign that picture of the Meat Man. Could you just show it real quick? The one that's on the chair over there? If it takes so long, the okay. Albertson Meat Man is not a child. Okay. Anyway, this, not this picture here, Perry. All I, I all I want you to do is just show it. Okay. This is not so, him. It's the child. Yeah, yeah. Perry will sign this, and uh, so the current bid is a hundred dollars right now. It's a hundred and twenty for the shirt. Those are the top bids right now, and we're going to go until the end of the stream. Okay, you can put it back now, Perry. Right. I don't, Perry, really I I don't want to have a conversation about it. I just wanted to show. I don't it. even know how to get into the goddamn fucking Perry, picture. Just put, then we'll figure it out later. Put it back. Thank you. Dumbass. So if you didn't move in slow motion, this stream would be uh, over uh, quicker. Oh, Christ. I'm the blast is what I'm going to do. Here at Jenny Kane, we make the finest credenzas ever made. We want to sponsor this show, but you'll need to remove any existing bedroom furniture first. Fuck you! Stupid ass. How dare you make that statement? Jack.
Thank you for subscribing. The Game Men's Alliance would also like that to ask Mr. Carmella to talk about his coming out experience and how it impacted his friends and family. I'm not coming out anywhere, freak. And whatever happened to me years ago, I, 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 I want to forget about. So stop bringing it up. The more you keep bringing it up, the madder I get, and the more I want to forget about it. Fuckers. Thank you for subscribing. You're no Paisano. You blew dudes to get into this business and now you spit in our faces. Never, Sad doesn't ever. forget. Move to Florida now. Hashtag Never! Hollywood Never! I'm not leaving California, you fuck! There's the beach! I surf! Boogie board surf! I, I, I'm gonna fuck I do tough shit. I boogie board, okay? You got a problem with that? I boogie board. That's surfing to me. Snow, mountains, ski. I ski. I'm now snowboarding. I learned how to snowboard. I'm going to get better at it. I'm going to be snowboarding till I'm over 80, 90, 130 fucking years old. I'm snowboarding for the rest of my life. And if I die snowboarding, so fucking what? Fuckers. Perry began his killing spree by bludgeoning his family dog Cricket to death with a skateboard. He then blended the corpse into a smoothie, skateboard, dog, tropical drink. Oh my god, I'm internet! You fucking son of a bitch! Perry, can you I was scared of when that goddamn dog was put to sleep! Perry, can you stop slamming the desk? It messes up the camera. Fuck yourself! I want to be done! That's an hour over time! You fuck! We don't have any time, Perry, and stop calling me names. Take a deep breath, you maniac. I'm done. No, we're not. I'm fucking done. Hey, Perry. I'm fucking done. Kiss my ass, you fucking loser. Yeah, Friday, three hours. This is four hours. I never hours. said Friday was three hours. I never said that, Perry. I don't know how you got that in your head. I never said that. I said it's the minimum. We always go over it. And stop. Are you done calling me names? I'm done with this goddamn stream. What else, let, me, let me ask you a real question. What do you have to do today? You, the, the, here's the thing. You end the stream. You don't make money. You stay on the stream. Clean, Clean all this goddamn garbage. Right, and you can do that after the stream, Perry. Uh, so you stop streaming now, no money. You continue streaming. You get money. That's the way it works. That's how work works. I don't want to make any more money I know today. you have no work ethic God. whatsoever. No, you're not done, Perry. You're done when I say you're done. Okay? You're done when the stream is over. Okay? As a director of the stream... I'm the boss of PCL, and when I say it's done, that's when it's done, okay? For all intents and purposes, you are an employee of PCL, despite being the host. Here is a, uh, this is, be quiet. This is called Perry Caravello Live. Yes. Friday it's, stream is 11 to 2. No, it's not. It's no. not 3. It's whatever I say it is, actually. Oh, so you're going to fucking poison me. No, I'm not going to poison and, you, and Perry. It's what I say it is. You purposely keep me on the goddamn internet for a longer time. Fuck! You! You son of a bitch! Go fuck yourself! Take your goddamn stream and shove it up your fucking ass! I don't want to do this anymore! I don't want to do this anymore! I am done! I am done! We're on fucking vacation! Ah, uh, saying it after on their fucking vacation! Cause they're all fucking picketing! That's a vacation to me! That's not a job! You had a three-week vacation uh, dingling, and uh, this is not a SAG after gig, so stop being a baby. I'm going to go into God. this. Are you done with your baby bullshit? Here is an offer from Georgia that I don't think you can do. It's $20 to pay Tom a compliment and thank, thank him for all the hard work he does for you. Do you think you could do that? Oh, yeah, of course. I'm, well, I do it every day. No, you don't, actually. No, all you, all you've done, all you've done yeah. today, Perry, excuse me, all you've done today, Perry, Except is, excuse me, two people can't talk at once. All you've done today is curse at me and call me every name in the book. So, Georgia, if you, if you want to accept the offer, it's... Tom, again, I apologize. No, 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 she's not asking for an apology. Hey, hey Perry, today. again, two people can't work, talk at once. Not asking for an apology. It's... Twenty dollars to pay Tom a compliment and thank you, thank him for all he does for you. That's what you do. Tom, I am so honored and so blessed and thankful for all the things you do. You started up this beautiful business. 
which of course today is not a beautiful day to me because of all the negativity and no, all no, the no, 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 no. See, the, the, start Put again. This doesn't count. So doesn't count. Start again. Don't so, add. To turn the negativity. Start again. Positive. Start again. Doesn't count. Don't add your own things. Tom, I'm very thankful and very honored for all the hard, hard, hard work you do. You do way too much to keep my head, my blah, 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 to keep me above water and to keep me floating and and actually surfing this uh, wave of surfing in the internet community to where uh, we are we are a a streaming business. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Tom. I very right, very good, Perry. Are you over your baby uh, outburst now with the name calling and cursing at me? Know. We don't know. No, no. I, I'm, it's a yes. It's a yes that's or no question. We. That's a that's a three person question. We, me, myself, and I. Well, I, I'm being facetious. Are you done with the cursing at me and baby BS? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Perry gets. I think. I think the sugar has an effect on that too. So. Um, all right i gotta get to some more tom's tips perry uh, a lot of these so listen perry uh, now that you're a little calm how many more hours are we to be on it's friday a three-hour show but now it's friday a four-hour show i got things i want to do Stop. god damn it i just asked you perry if you were done with your baby bs and you said yes no i'm not done with my baby bs because i want a clean fucking house I get my shit out of here and I get the fuck out of here. It's now. three o'clock in the afternoon, you dingling. You That's can... right. It's too fucking First late. First of all, why are you yelling? I, am I, I yelling? Been, I should have been gone an hour ago. Do you know how to talk like a grown adult? Not when I'm very fucking pissed off like I am. All right, stop with your fake voice and foaming at the mouth and just listen. Nothing's fake about uh, yelling. There's everything fake about, about your fake voice. Everything fake about your fake voice. Nothing's fake about Everything yelling. is fake about what your you fake voice. For... Any, everything, everything, everything fake about your fake voice. So I'm going to explain to you calmly uh, as you uh, finish your little rage outburst is there is no set time on PCL, okay? There's no, there's some streams, yes, uh, Perry, look ahead while I'm talking. Uh, there's no set time limit. There are other streams that stream from like, you know, uh, oh, we're going to stream from three to four or four to five. They stream from one hour or two hours and that's what they do and they stream every day. You stream a little longer and you do two times a day, okay? And we stream because our stream has a lot that's, of engagement. That's, that's, Excuse that's me, two people can't talk at the same time. Save your commentary for when I'm done talking. That's how conversation works. One uh, person goes and then the other person goes. Uh, Ugh, you're disgusting. Time's no, 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 I'm not done. You're going to be quiet now. You're going to be quiet now. <laughs> the adults are talking. You're going to be quiet now, okay? You stream Bless two you. days a week, and we are very thankful to have a lot of engagement on our stream. People who pay money to speak to you, to get your take on their media share or their comments. And I, as the director, need to facilitate those and play those for you, which you get 100% of the proceeds for, okay? There's other things like Tom's Tips that also take up time, and Jim and Garrett, who work very hard for us, please stop bopping, I'm over here, who work very hard for us, they get paid that way, okay? So again, uh, I know you're very immature and baby-like, but if you wanted to quit right now and leave, you would be leaving money. It's like, it's like working a job, Perry. You don't just quit your job because you're annoyed at something, okay? That's, that's the way it goes, okay? So when I say three hours, when, I, when, I, when we did the Friday stream initially, because last year we weren't able to do the Friday stream because I had too much going on, now that we are doing the Friday stream, it's more casual, it's mailbag, and yes, the minimum is around three hours. I originally said two hours, okay? But it's two to three hours. So it's gonna go over that sometimes. It's gonna go under that sometimes. Sometimes it's gonna be right on the nose, but it's not a hard cap, so stop doing the father time thing to me. Let's get through this. I got some Tom's tips to go through, and I'd prefer- All right, my And I'd appreciate if I can get through done. them without you yelling at me. It's done! What are you it doing? Won't, it won't take any more. It won't take any more pee. How it's, many times have you peed in that? About a dozen. All right, we'll sit down and we'll uh, let's. Oh, uh, we're done. Pee. We're done. I'm, I'm, I'm. I gotta get out of this. No, we're not done. Just sit. Did you pee already? Yes. Okay, so it's already done. The next time you have to pee. Are soaked. The next time you have to go pee, you can go to the men's room. For now, just chill out. Okay, thank you. Fucking asshole. That's not good for rears. You don't want to uh, complain that you've been. Uh, I mean, I've peed about a dozen times.
times in these goddamn things. Okay, good. Think of how longer the stream would be if you actually had to use the bathroom. Okay, next P. <laughs> Stop screaming like a baby. <laughs> next P, you can go to the bathroom. Hey, Perry, sit down. Oh, my God. Is it? <laughs> I think that. I think they are wet. All right, hey, Perry, you can change. Quick, quick change, Perry. I'll allow Perry to change and come back. He's, he's uh, reached the capacity of the... Uh, can you make this a quick change, Perry, or do I need to play music? Well, I got some new bathroom break uh, music courtesy of Jim. I can play that. to put another diaper on. You're not going to be on it long enough. But if you already did, then fine. Uh, if you're just tuning in, 
uh, or tuning back in, uh, Perry's uh, diaper reached its maximum. Now I understand why he was raging so hard about wanting to uh, wrap up because the uh, diaper was overflowing. Uh, he took, I guess, about a dozen. Was it a dozen peas you took in that? Yes. Can you hold up the diaper before you throw it away? Can we see the full diaper? How oh, have... God, you're disgusting! I, I, just, I don't want to see the pee. I just, want to see... shit. I just want to see how heavy it is. That looks heavy. Can we weigh it? Let's weigh it. Perry filled up his diaper. Eight pounds! <laughs> Eight pounds of a diaper of pee. Eight pounds of piss! Eight pounds. All right, come on back, Perry. Let's uh, let's get through this. I'm sorry, I, di I didn't realize how full. I didn't realize how full the diaper was. That's why you were in such a baby. Yeah. Mood. Okay. What? But, but you can be honest with me and tell me, hey Tom, this diaper is almost full. Can I? Ah! Well, you didn't say that. You just like rage like a lunatic. I have to. Yeah, that would communicate. All I'm doing is ping, ping, ping. How many times did you pee today? How many pee breaks would that been? I, I don't even remember how many times I peed. A minimum of about 12 times. Minimum, if not more. That, imagine all the darting yeah. that was saved by those reels. By the way, yeah, those exactly. reels aren't cheap. Where are you going now? Getting my hat. Hey, could you hear that song? How, how do you like that song? It's a remix of ACDC. The whole bunch, there's a whole bunch of them. Some are better than others, but they're uh, they're free of copyright. So they're like uh, like really weird like mashups. That was Thunderstruck. There's Back in Black, Highway to Hell. Um, there's some others like you know Rolling Stones and stuff. So he pooped so he uh, pooped so much on. Um, Monday, I was like, you know, there's only so many times I want to play Ricky Horny. As much as I love Ricky Horny. Hey, Perry, how long does it take to get your hat? I have to get my shirt on as well. All right. All right, let's sit down and stay down. The song kind of sucks, somebody said. Yeah, hey, well, you know, it's not... This song's not for listening to enjoy. Okay, it might not be the same shirt, but... It's for it. Yeah, that A perfect. shirt on. Okay. You want to wear the Meat Man shirt to make it more valuable? No fucking okay. way. Well, I got an update. I got an update on our bids. Okay, uh, so check this out. So, um, two in my pocket. The picture is now up to uh, one fifty. One fifty. One hundred and fifty dollars. Now imagine, Perry. That would be a thing that you would just throw away. Can you pay attention here, Perry? No, I don't. That I don't need you to get it. I just need you to pay attention. So, I know you don't understand logic, uh, but it's one hundred and fifty dollars for something that you probably would have thrown away. That Jim is hustling for you, so that that's a nice thing. You get one hundred fifty dollars okay. for that. All you gotta do is sign it and send it out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I have a. I think the shirt is still at it, what it was, uh, but. Okay, so we could stay on. I, we're not. I'm not gonna keep you on that long, Perry. But this is your job. Understand? People are tuned in to see you. <laughs> Don't shake your head. You work two days a week, Perry, okay? Somebody sent a thing to me like, oh, Perry should stream every day because that's what all the top streamers do. First of all, I don't think Perry could stream every day. And, and second of all, he streams more than those top streamers because his streams are longer, okay? Yeah, they stream only two hours a day. I stream six hours one and three hours the next. This time I'm going over four, some, four and, and a half hours. Sometimes more than that and sometimes, uh, you know... That, that's that's just the way it is. I think you have I think you have it pretty good. Uh, let me get into this uh, Tom's tip that I was going to get into about a half an hour ago before you started screaming about your piss filled diaper. Okay, we're over here, Perry. Straight ahead. Thank you. Uh, this is from a David Van Driesen. Hello, Perry. It's Mr. Van Driesen. Love the stream. Two thumbs up. Thank you. The PCO crew and you do an amazing job putting together the best stream on the entire internet. Thank you. Even though Thank these demons try to get under your skin, just remember that God has blessed you with the talent that all of these people enjoy. Tom, <coughs> you are the best manager and publicist in the business. Uh, thank you, David. I take exception, though. I'm not a publicist. Uh, 10 slash 10 five-star human being. Thank you. I think it'd be nice if the whole PCO crew 
went around and said two nice things about each other for a brief everyone loves everyone break. Love you guys. Two thumbs up. Uh, this stream is uh, 10, 10, 5 stars. That's awesome, David. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very, very much, sir. I'm very thankful to that nice, warm-hearted, lovable compliment. Thank you. Okay, that well, I'll start by saying something nice about Perry. Uh, I think uh, Perry is the most uh, unique personality on the Internet. Uh, Thank you. You could find other streams where people try to do some stuff like this, but nobody's quite like Perry. Uh, you get a different version of Perry every time, every stream, uh, and you know, for good and bad. And that's, uh, that's interesting. And I think he's, uh, I think he's, I think he's funny. And I think the bottom line is he makes a lot of people happy because I was saying this to Jim uh, yesterday. Perry is I got another. I've been getting a lot of emails lately, like long emails of people that have been going through some rough times. And there was another guy that said that, you know, he got a divorce uh, and he was homeless for a while and then had to move back in with that his sucks. mother. And he was at his lowest point in life when he discovered you and discovered PCL and how you got him through the depression. And now he's back on his feet. He's got his own place. He's making money thank again. And he wanted to thank you and uh, the team PCL for all that. Thank so you. That's what I'll say about Perry. Uh, I'll quickly touch on Jim. Jim is... Uh, probably the most talented uh, partner I've ever had in the creative field. Uh, we have a very uh, easy shorthand with each other. We can read each other's minds. That, that's hard to find in any kind of business, especially when you're doing any kind of entertainment work, especially creative work or writing work. Uh, there's no there's no egos involved. Uh, Jim just wants to do the best for Perry and the best for PCL. He's, Thank uh, you. he's a very talented writer, a very talented producer. Uh, Garrett is uh, super hard working even when PCL is on the air he's always working he's cutting up clips he's posting stuff he's engaging the audience he's working hard for Perry he loves Perry he does segments with Perry he edits stuff for Patreon uh, really really great stuff uh, Garrett and Shim are not here but if they want to say anything nice I'll read it and pass it along so uh, we, we got a nice thing going on here and, and uh, nice. I, I, I love all of Team PCL especially Perry okay that was uh, from David thank you David <sighs> Thank okay. you. Thank now, you. on the other side of the coin, I do have a Tom's tip uh, from uh, your friend Soviet Goat, which is probably going to take uh, the opposite approach. <laughs> but uh, here's I got a couple of Q&As, Perry. Uh, five Qs. You just give me the answer. I'm not interested in that crap anymore if it's going to be I know, stupid Perry. five questions and answers. Right, Perry. But, but answering the question pays Jim and Garrett for all their hard work, okay? So question number one. Perry, what did the Albertsons meet men look like? It was about my height, Italian like me, brown hair. But the guy was in his fifties uh, or sixties when I worked there at Albertsons. And now what did, he's and what did he taste gray. like? What did he taste like? He didn't taste like anything because I don't have a fucking clue what your immoral garbage is, is all about. You sick, demented, psychotic pervert. Question number two: Who is the most famous actor you've ever met? Other than myself? Yeah, can you sit up, please, and get a little closer to the mic? I think Tom Cruise. When I worked on... Um, um, what was the name of that movie? Oh, shoot. I forgot the name of the film. It was about... Uh, uh, it was like a science fiction type of movie. Um... Something like, um, stop it, stop it, stop it. Something like, uh, Logan's Run, but, um, Tom Cruise was running through, like, the, the streets of either San Francisco or New York City or something, and he had a bald girl, uh, that he would grab, that he grabbed and, 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 uh, took her through traffic and stuff to get her away from the, the negative people who wanted to capture her. And I forgot the name of that movie. Minority Report, it sounds like. Minority Report, thank you. Okay, thank uh, you. follow-up question. Did you make him come? No, I didn't make anybody come here. 
No, no, no. I didn't demand him to come come and see me. I didn't say, come here. Your smart ass gay remark about making somebody come. I'm going to change that remark to come here because I don't want to hear your your immoral garbage. All right, question three. How loud did you moan when you shot your greasy cum load down Randy's sweet throat? I didn't make any noise, you fucking freaks. And did Randy moan louder when you blew him back? I never blew him back. I had to spank his fucking monkey, you freak. Last question. Did you cry when Cricket died? I don't remember. I was seven. How long did it take for you to come after you killed Cricket? I was seven! Seven years old, you fuck! Okay. Moving right along, Perry. Why don't we get to that uh, other that last box that's on the chair there? We'll make that the last mailbag of the day. Uh, damn you. All right, stop. Oh, son of a bitch. Everything here goes in the garbage. I can't wait. Uh, not the stuff you're saving. People are paying for that. Don't be dumb enough to throw that away. Stuff on the chair. Get out of here. No, no, no. Come here. Come here. There. What's in this fucking sick crappy? Wait, wait, wait. I don't want that. I don't want this. I don't want this. Okay, there we go. Perry, give the condition of your apartment. I felt that some air freshener was in order. Please spray five times and enjoy the scent. Repeat five sprays every hour from the schmig. I don't trust you, whoever the fuck you are, with whatever the fuck you sent. Cause yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm not spraying this garbage. You crazy? Fuck off. Loud ass. Fart prank. Yeah, fuck you. Well, can you take it out of the plastic so we can see it, please? I'm not spraying this in my house, you fucking moron. It goes in the garbage. I don't want it. Uh, unless somebody at home wants it, send an offer uh, to... No, I'm not, I'm not selling this home. shit. Well, you are, if somebody wants it. I doubt anybody would want it, but if you do. All right, moving right along, Perry. There's that, and then there's this. Two of the same stupid things. Fart prank? Yeah. Fuck off. All right. See, you stare at things way too long, but we need you to just pick it up and move it. All right, let's move on. Perry, DeSantis here. I don't know if this bullshit from 92 is true or not, but you cannot tell that story once you are a Florida resident. Big felony. I'm not moving to Florida, you freak! God damn it! I don't even want to step foot in the fucking state of Florida! And I've got girlfriends in Florida, too. Not interested in going to your flat fucking state. Trying to drop off keys to your new home for Callahan, Florida. First payment due next week. Amy said send keys to her. That correct? Humidity only 88% today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck you. Only 88% today. I would be in misery. Misery. My humidity here is 
30% today. These humidifiers are fucking me up. Humidity conditions in Reseda. 44.6% dot to stop the service. Please respond with 1992 current charges, $25 per week. Fuck! Shut up! Get me off this stream. Knock it off, Perry. You're being nasty now. Stop! done! Stop. Stop. I was complimenting you earlier how you're not nasty, and now you're being nasty. Knock it off. I want to finish. Yeah, I know, okay. Perry. This is your job. Do you understand what a job is? Yeah, it's my job for three hours. No, I, I've explained countless six. times that it's not three hours. I'm not going to play on six hours on Friday. Else I won't do fucking Monday, fucker. Good. Don't do it, Perry. Don't get paid. Go homeless. Stop being an idiot. I'm trying to finish up as quickly as I can. Stop talking and pay attention. Thank you. Perry, you get very angry when we send you delicious food, but in 1992 you eagerly made love to Randy Callahan and thanked him for his kindness. Why? Lie, lie, fucking lie. Uh, by the way, uh, I asked Jim to write something nice uh, if he wanted to say something nice about the PCL people from that last Tom's tip. Uh, since I got to say something and Perry got to say something, I'll g extend the same to Garrett if Garrett wants to send me something. So here's what Jim says. Perry, can you pay attention so I could read this? I got a headache. Yeah, of course you do because you're yelling like a maniac. But can you pay attention to this? Give me a minute. No, of course not. He's got to dart away. Okay, are we ready now, Perry? By the way, stop complaining about how much time it takes to finish the stream when all you do is dart off camera and, uh, you know, do all this stuff. So here's, so remember the previous Tom's tab is, I believe, uh, if you hear kid yelling in the background, that's Teddy playing with his toys. Okay, so obviously it's inconvenient for me to go late on Fridays too, Perry. Probably more than you because I actually have responsibilities in life. Um, so... If you could pay attention, Perry, let me uh, get through this. So the, the previous one was nice, and it said uh, it would be nice if the whole PCL crew went around and said two nice things about each other. Well, I don't know if we're going to stick to two, but this is Jim. Jim says, about you, Perry. Perry is in, unintentionally the funniest person I've ever met. Well, thank you, Jim. I enjoy working for him and helping him make a living even though he's fired me more times than anyone in history has ever been fired. I never fire you. Yes, you do. You fire him quite a I bit. fire the freaks out there that are fucking with us. Much love to Perry. Uh, this is what, and then he adds, Garrett, Garrett, Garrett's a funny guy. He's an excellent social media publicist for PCL. By the way, if anybody's a publicist for you and PCL, it's Garrett. Uh, I don't know why you would just call me a publicist at this point. But anyway, well, uh, this point's changed. Okay, well, you, you did it the other. You did it the other. Whenever you're talking to one of your fake girls, you're always you. saying like, "Contact my publicist" or whatever. Uh, Garrett, uh, Garrett's a funny guy. He's an excellent social media publicist for PCL and extremely talented putting together uh, every putting everything together with videos and social media content. And he's a good friend to Perry. I agree with all that. Okay, that's very good. And then he. Uh, he throws me in. He says, Tom is one of my best friends and is, and is a, as sharp as a razor blade when it comes to improv, comedy, writing, and creating entertainment. PCL for life. Well, that's very sweet of you to say, Jim. Thank you. That's very nice. And uh, Garrett's going to write something. And um, <laughs> Tony Hawk actually wrote me. Uh, and he said, uh, no one works harder than uh, you, Perry. Uh, I don't know where you get the energy. Uh 
Oh, actually, you said that about me. I know I'm harder than you, Tom. I don't know where you get your energy. Tom. You bring out the yeah, best in Tom. Perry. Okay, yeah, I, I read that wrong. Uh, so when Garrett says me something, I'll get to that. Um, let me uh, see. I've already pissed about six times since in, since in, his in, new in, diaper. Yes. That's crazy. What, what are you doing to piss that much? Drinking. All right, well, stop drinking. Stop. How about you stop? <laughs> that's that's crazy. I'm on medication, dummy. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I have to drink water to, to... I know, but that's that's an insane amount. Um, let me see if I got through all the Tom's tips. Okay, let me get through a couple more of these. Hey, buddy. Do you like Jews? I don't like Jews. My boss, Julie, is one and he is a meanie head and tries to cut my foreskin off. Okay, buddy. Bye-bye. You're disgusting. I have Jewish friends, yes. You suck at skateboarding. You suck at snowboarding. You suck at comedy. You suck RC in 92. You suck good. Suck fest Satan 666 Florida to suck souk. Look, my, my old skateboarding days are not my new skateboarding days, okay? I was really good when I was 15, six, when I first turned 16. Yeah, three weeks later, I almost lost my life. And then everything had to, had a long road ahead for the return. So, yeah, I do suck at skateboarding. I, I, I agree. I'll never be what I was back in 1979. Remember, I was in a coma for three weeks and hospitalized for three months. Learning how to walk was a challenge. Okay? But I got that down. I'm better than you. I'm smarter than you. I'm funnier than you. I'm better at snowboarding than you. I'm better at skateboarding than you. Ha ha. You're a, you're a, you're a stupid, lying, old whore. That you're better than at me. You're a high desert whore. Ha ha. Got it? You fucking high desert whore. You cheat on your husband. You cheat on your kids. And, and then you want them back. Well, the dumbass took you back. I don't know why. Ha ha. Yeah, I'm letting the whole world know about my stupid, disgusting sister-in-law. Ugh. The way your body moved against mine the other night and filled this flesh pastry with your sticky sweet manila cream. You are a man made for this man. What the fuck are you talking about? Sick, gross, psycho bastard. Perry and Randy hosting the largest X Games going in Florida for the LGBT community where blue eyes and warm milkshakes can make your dreams come true hugs. Never going to Florida. Never, ever, 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 ever going to Florida. Got it? End of story, over and out. I am never stepping foot in Florida. I don't care if there's a fucking business meeting in the state of Florida. I'm not there. I'm on the internet. End of story. What if the business meeting was something like, okay, Perry, uh, you got to fly to Orlando, Florida. You're going to be staying in a five-star hotel overnight. In your hotel room, once you check in, is a suitcase. That suitcase is filled with let's say fifty thousand dollars in untraceable cash all you got to do is fly to florida check into the hotel pick up the briefcase and you can fly right back home would you do it then that's called fly right back home man well you gotta I, stay I, the night you gotta stay the night you gotta spend the night for 50 grand maybe okay maybe that'll get you but see that 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 is that is an iffy thing because i don't trust you guys oh the suitcase has got no money in it. Oh, ha, 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 ha. It, we tricked you. Let, let me let me let me explain, Perry. I understand that there's a lot of shenanigans that goes on Perry Curival Alive, and we have fun with each other. However, we have never joked around when it comes to you getting paid ever. Have you ever true. have you ever been promised to be paid for something and then no, you weren't? True. In the history no, you've been of doing very this, very good about that. Been very good about that. Okay, so I just don't want you to put it out there that way. I would joke about, or, or Jim would joke about. 
uh, you putting, uh, you know, you going somewhere and supposed to get paid. Did you get paid in Pottstown? You know, do, anytime I promised, you know, an offer, do you ever? Yeah, I, I guess, but I only get paid on my credit card, so I don't know how no, much. No, 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 no. You got paid. A, you got a. You flew home with a nice fat check from Pottstown. I forgot. I forgot. No, no, of course, you yeah. forgot. Uh, but you've never been promised a payment of something and then not have it delivered, ever. Um, okay. By the way, Garrett got back to me. Uh, and this is what he says about the PCL staff. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. This is what Garrett said. These are Garrett's words. It's been an honor and a pleasure to meet and work with one of my comedy heroes in Perry Caravello. Thank you, Garrett. He's Thank actually you. a pretty sweet and lovable guy off stream. Thank you. Tom is the best boss in the business and a dear friend who I can confide in, and he's like a brother to me. Oh, thank you, Garrett. I feel the same way. Uh, Jim is a super creative guy who is great to be around and an, and awesome uh, to work with. And I think we all agree, uh, too, that uh, Tony Hawk, because... Uh, there's there's more uh, there's Tony Hawk stuff here. Tony Hawk is not Tony Hawk. Well, That's the problem. See, we're not, here. we're not looking for your opinion. We're not looking for your opinion here, Perry. I just I think that Tony Hawk and I know uh, Garrett and Jim agree is one of the best uh, comedy foils foils uh, to ever work with Perry. And I know there's uh, big big uh, shoes in that category, but I think Tony's uh, fits in that company very uh, comfortably and. Uh, you know, does he go too far sometimes? Absolutely, but I think he uh, loves Perry, loves PCL, and uh, I'm not. I, I'm I, not. I happen to love Tony, and I know that uh, Garrett and Jim do too. I'm not respecting him as Tony Hawk because he's not Tony Hawk. End of story. Over and out. Uh, he, oh, by the way, speaking of speaking of the devil, Tony just wrote me this out, and I'll make this uh, the last of it from a PCL crew. Uh, he, he had already said, nobody works harder than Tom. Uh, I don't know where you get your energy. You bring out the best in Perry. Jim is not only a producer, he's a great writer for PCL. Jim's ideas are spot on and always a home run. Garrett is great at capturing content and presenting the funniest clips, and Garrett is patient with Perry, but boy, can he push Perry's buttons. You know what, I'll give Garrett that uh, credit. That's a great point that Tony makes. You know, we all do things to push Perry's buttons. I know I do. And especially when I'm around him in person, and usually it results in me getting uh, punched at the side of the head. Garrett doesn't get that reaction from Perry. He's able to push Perry's buttons in a way that nobody else can, uh, while at the same time exuding this like friendliness uh, with Perry that is a genuine thing. It's so. a different type of push. Yeah. Okay, it's a different type of push. I guess, I guess. And then uh, this is what Tony says about you, Perry. And maybe uh -oh. you can say something nice about Tony. Perry, you and I have become very close over the past few years. People might not know this, but a big reason why we work together, I have a few mental health issues similar to yours. I only choose to do something about them and not blame everyone else for my problems like you do. Well, here's the thing that bothers me. You're a married man, correct? You want me to fuck your wife? Where did where did that come from? You want me to have sex with your wife, okay? Because of the the time when when uh, uh, they tried to get me they tried to hook me up together. You know, Perry, I thought that, that my, I thought that disturbed my... me tremendously. Disturbed me. I thought that my screen was like like kind of like needs a dusting or something like that but uh, I think your your room is being very uh, hazy in there. I'll tell you what, why don't you turn off one? Yeah, it is extremely hazy because of that shit that I got. All right, I'll tell I'll, I'll give I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you I'll give you something. You want to you want to turn off a humidifier, you could do it right now. No, I want to turn off the fucking internet completely, okay? Excuse me, potty I mouth. Turn off the goddamn computer exactly. Stop it, Mr. Potty Mouth. I was giving I was being nice to you. I was saying I know we ran a little long here. And I, I, I got a little bit more. I got a little bit more to do before we can end. But if you want to turn one off for free, you can because we did go long. Please. All right, well, there you go. You, turn, you can pick 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 either one you want. You had the power all along to turn those off. All right, that's the one. All right, let's make this a quick transition, though, Perry. 
Of course, he picked the one that was almost empty. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Tom, when is Teddy's birthday? He deserves a stream birthday party. Perry, how do you know about Chicago's CTA? Chicago Transit Authority. CTA, Chicago Transit Authority. That's all I know. One. Uh, two, I used to always take it when I when when my when my brother and I, Brian and I, used to get on the CTA and go downtown to my uh, aunts and uncles and cousins. We would get on the the, the, the train, also known as the CTA, Transit uh, Chicago Transit Authority. That's what CTA means. And uh, Steve, uh, Teddy's birthday is actually September 20th. He's going to be six years old. He's looking forward to it. He's very excited about it. It's very nice. I don't think PCL is uh, necessarily the place for a children's party, but uh, very nice. He'll be uh, happy that he was mentioned. We have located video of Perry having sex with Jasmine St. Clair as part of a gangbang in the 90s. We will be showing the video on Media Share Monday. What? Really? Okay, I, I, I gotta see this because I never saw this. See, I was supposed to be an extra in this. Let's see what they got with with uh, who's playing me. Boy. Great stream, Perry. Now grab a bat and smash the microwave to pieces. Don't be a pussy. Shut the fuck up, you sick bastard. It's a great microwave. This is Billy Gumdrops. Perry, tell the 1993 story. Tell us about the rim job and how it tickled the hairs of your anus. 93 story? I think you got years wrong. 93. I got a headache, so leave me alone, please. Perry, please stop the snorting. I listened through headphones and it's making me feel. Please do another snowboard lesson video. It was great. I'm not, I don't need to do another snowboard lesson video. I don't want to snow. I, I learned how to snowboard. Got the basics down. So I know I know what I'm doing now. Mm. Perry, stop asking me to come over. It won't happen because you can snowboard, burp too much and have sexual relations with men. So stop asking me, angry face. What in the hell are you talking about? Burp too much. No, I don't have sex with men. That will never happen. I'm not that way. Women. Woman. Female. Only. Being assaulted sexually is one thing. That was over 31 years ago, you stooge. Tired of this abuse. God damn it. Fran, Pontius Pilate was a famous Italian. Speaking of crucifixes, how did Randy do on massaging your prostate? 
None of your business, loser. Goodbye. Next. Bring that shit up again. I'm turning the goddamn computer off. Parents Francis Carmelo, congratulations. Apartment 102 has been named a World Heritage Site. You can now vacate to Florida via hot air balloon. Never going to fucking happen. End of motherfucking story. I am now turning the goddamn No, you're not. Off. Get your hand off you it. Can go fuck yourself. Get your hand off my mouse. It's a hundred and fifty dollar penalty. Hundred and fifty dollar penalty if you turn off the computer. I don't want to be on the stream anymore. Got it? I've been on almost two fucking hours. I know. Hours We're almost. Overtime. Stop yelling like a baby so I can get through this. Okay, do your job. Fucking asshole. The door giveaway is still on. It is not a scam. Type one hundred twenty three in the chat to enter and a chance to win. I will sign and deliver every door that is won. Not interested. Bastards. Oh, you're giving me a fucking evil fucking headache. These Satan fucking losers. Stay off my goddamn computer. Hail Perry Caravello the dog killer. Hail his unholy garbage disposal. Hail his shit and piss patio. I Hail never killed a fucking animal. Hail the smoke master. Losers. Men holding hands. I never killed a fucking animal. God. Sick of this shit. Hi, it's me, Franny. I will drive my car into the pool. I will drive my car through the back door. I will do both for $500. Should I leave the pin in? Never going to happen. $500. Please. Thank oh, sorry. Thank you for subscribing. God, I'm with this garbage. For, Get me thank you for subscribing again and thank stop darting at the clock. Again. Stop. Hey, Barry, listen, if you stop being a baby, I will reward you. Okay, stop looking at the clock. I know we went a little long here. Fridays are not a hard... Little. Yes, Fridays are not a hard cap at three hours. I keep saying this to you and you keep ignoring it. It's not a hard cap. We go until we go, okay? You should be very thankful that we have a busy stream. That's good, Okay. So again, too busy. Yeah, let's just get through it, Perry. It's only it's not even four o'clock in the afternoon for you. You got plenty of time to do everything you wanted to do. Okay. Oh, I do not have a lot of time to yeah, do everything yes, you want you me do. to do. You, Friday is what you have to do is this, which you're doing right now. Okay, that's what you do on Fridays. You work. Okay. I'm gonna get through it with you. I need you to engage and pay attention and let me finish and then you, up. Then, then, then don't don't try to call me over the weekend because I'm out of town. Oh, okay. Done. You'll tell us all about it on Monday as usual. No, I won't tell you about it on Monday. Uh, it's my private life. No, it's not your private life. It's my private life. Great. Let's just finish, please. I have to finish. All right. Are you done? Thank you. I'm loaded with problems. Hey, Perry and Tom. Love you guys. When are y'all coming to New Orleans? Also, you don't snowboard, remove the tattoo. You are gonna hurt yourself trying. Bye. Uh, Bye. That's, very, that's very true. And uh, I just wanna give an up. I'm not gonna hurt myself trying. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. End of story. Don't fuck with me. It's not effing with you, Perry. It's just telling the truth. You couldn't even stay up straight on the training thing, which was like a treadmill. Shut up, you motherfucker! I'm new on a goddamn snowboard, you fucking cunt! You motherfucking cunt! Get out of here! Oh, I guess we're not getting monetized today with your potty mouth, with your name calling. You'll never get monetized with my goddamn potty mouth! I know that. I I've uh, I've accepted that. Get the fuck with me! I, it, I'm it, in the snow! Thanksgiving Day! Okay, we can't wait to hear all about it. Uh, anyway, I wanted to give an update since he touched on uh, New Orleans. Our friend Frank from New Orleans, a.k.a. Splanch Roulette, uh, wants everybody to know he is... Finally, finally, finally back home in New Orleans, uh, resting and recuperating from two surgeries. 
Uh, he basically, if you remember, he was getting another surgery the night before we even left uh, for our little break, and then he had another surgery. Uh, so he's been in the uh, hospital for a long time, and he's finally home recovering. I think the worst is over, and he just wanted to say thank you to everybody for the positive vibes. Uh, he, you know, he, he's had a rough go of it, uh, but you know, he he had a good attitude. He was, hey Perry, can you not bop around while I'm giving a nice update no, about my a supporter? House looks like shit. It looks like it's okay. It's a fucking cloud. Okay, Perry, be quiet while the adults are talking. Uh, just stop bopping. Uh, so I just, he, he wants to, uh, relax, enjoy Perry, enjoy PCL, and he wanted blah, to blah, say, blah, blah, he, blah, he, blah, 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 You know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm talking about, Perry, that you're saying blah, 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 I don't too? care anymore! I'm talking about a good fan of ours and somebody who supported you who had well, can't, thank you very who had, much. Who had, hey, Perry, just shut up. He had two cancer surgeries. He was in the hospital and still supporting your dopey Sorry butt. That he had to go okay, so you want to say blah, blah, blah some more and sound like more of a jerk? Well, you know, all you keep doing is rattling on. I want no, to get no, I'm, off. No, I'm the rattling. I'm, I'm giving an update about somebody who's an important part of our community. I want to get off the internet, okay? And, and I'm if giving. Give excuse an update, me, dingling. Do it on your own time. No, no, no. It's not my own time, Perry. This is our time, dingling. I'm giving an update about a very important member of our community who went through a living hell and having a cancer surgery, and he wanted me to pass along to people uh, to say thank you for supporting. Well, look. No, no, you look and be quiet. I'm not, like I, I'm actually not done. You look and be quiet. Okay. Don't go to hell. Go to hell. No, Perry, go to hell. sit down. You get up, I'm, I'm done. done. Kiss my ass. Hey, Perry, sit down. Right I now. Am done. No, hey, Perry, you're not done. I guess, I'm if, not if, done hey, Perry, here's the deal. If you if you don't sit down in the next 20 seconds, you're not getting paid for today. Anything. Sit down. Right now. You're not done. You're going to sit down and shut up and listen when I'm talking about somebody. <laughs> sit your dumb ass down and just listen while an adult talks, okay? Uh, so I just want to say uh, thank you to Frank, who went through a lot, and thank you to everybody who had a nice thing to say about Frank, not including Perry, who only cares about himself. But... Uh, doesn't feel good and is... <clears throat> yeah, Perry doesn't feel good. He doesn't care, at Frank, that you were in the hospital for uh, six weeks uh, getting two cancer surgeries. He doesn't care. He just only cares that he doesn't feel good right now. But anyway, uh, it wasn't about Perry. It was just about he wanted to thank the PCL community and uh, um, all that. So shout out to Frank. Uh, Glad he's feeling we're... better. And the good news is Perry, adult, adult is talking right now. Uh, the, good new, the best news about the whole thing is that his doctors told him that they got all the cancer and he's cancer free right now. Knock on wood, of course. You know, you always got to keep check on that. But he's cancer free. He's putting some weight back on. He's resting. He's getting his strength back. And uh, he'll be in Perry's apartment That's before we know it. Here. For the next Tom B week. All right. Now you can talk, Perry. I was just going to say, you know, I hope you get better. I hope uh, I hope after your surgeries and stuff, you, you gain your strength back as, as, as good as you possibly can. Okay. Are you done being a baby? Well, I, I it's hope yes, so. It's a yes or no question. Yeah, I'm going to... Okay, I'm good. Gonna, so, so this is what I'll do for you, Perry. I'm going to do my best to get through the end of this stream. I know we ran a little late, okay? And all I need a from you... Late. Perry, again, Perry, two people can't talk at the same time. All I'm asking for you is you not be a baby, not threaten to turn the computer off, because if you do, it's 150 bucks. Okay? Moving on. Main man, Perry. PCL is the best. Aside from Italian, what's the Scare Master's favorite type of cuisine? Salads. I, I, That's not I'm a cuisine, Perry. I'm addicted to salads and... That, and uh, not a cuisine. Not a cuisine. I don't eat cuisines. Yes, I'm you sorry. do. Italian is a cuisine. Chinese is okay, a cuisine. Okay, then, then, then Italian food is a cuisine. And he, said, he said not including Italian. Can you answer a straight question? I don't have a, fuck, a favorite other than uh, eat, eating like lasagna or manicotta or uh, uh, which you morons call manicotti. Um, <clears throat> uh, you know, a good, a good spaghetti and salad and stuff, which I, I make the simple. I, I go simple because I don't like cooking big or, or chili or something. Um, Texas style uh, cuisines, you know, like like I said, Shelby chili. That that that's that's what I go for. 
Uh, Perry is Tony. So, uh, Perry, it's Tony. Uh, I haven't been by recently because you're not Tony. I I make up to make up for it. How many or, or wait to make up for it? How about I stop by for next Friday stream and stay over for the weekend? We can dye your hair. We are not touching my hair. Only my hairstylist touches my hair. End of story. Over and out. You're not allowed here. Again. Got it? Please rate my poem with your special rating system. Evan Evan. Do do ra. See? Da. Bowl of lard. Desk stuff. Pickles. Died and bop. 92. Who blew who? That's not a freaking poem. That's just, you know, stupidity. Not interested in stupidity. I'm interested in, 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 in throwing away all this trash. Can't wait to see you on Bear Mountain this Thanksgiving for our annual blow job festival. We will make you the honorary blow job queen. Men holding hands, horse. No, I'm not going up to the Bay. I'm not going up to Bear Mountain for a blow job festival. I'm going up to Bear Mountain to snow board. Losers. And don't tell me that I'm not allowed up there because I will be allowed up there when I get my ticket to go up there. If I don't buy it at the at the uh, booth, knowing me, I'll probably buy it at the booth. Chad and Poncho, I want it back. I will call the police. Please get a hold of me immediately. It's Alonzo. Check your yearbook and call me. Alonzo, I don't know who. What Al Alonzo? What your last name is? I don't remember an Alonzo. I didn't have an Alonzo friend. I mean, there might have been an Alonzo that I went to school with, but I don't remember. Fucking humidifiers are just fucking me up. It's Tammy Faye. Thank you for That's unblocking her. me on Twitter. You now know I'm alive and not dead. I love you, Perry. Do you want to see my big titties? Go away, loser. Hey, Perry, so open your eyes and join us, Perry. I'm it's a lie! She's been dead for years! Okay, good. Just don't do the whole thing where you're pretending to fall asleep. Thank you. I'm not falling asleep. I got major pains in my body. My entire back is fucking killing me because of those goddamn humidifiers. Perry, it's Alonzo. I need my poncho back for my car's baptism. You should baptize your car too. Swimming pools work well. Call what me my hash in your book. What are you talking about? Whatever stupid ass poncho you sent me? God, that was thrown away ages ago. Thank you for subscribing. Hey Perry, I found out they do $10 tattoo removals in Florida. Then you can get your ears pierced like a real gay amateur skateboarder. Men holding hands, men holding hands, men holding hands. Jay Z love you. You! I'll end the goddamn stream and never get out of the goddamn computer or your fucking stupid ass stream again! Stop it! That's all! Stop with your baby. Anymore, I'm done. No, you're not done. Stop with your baby threats and stop uh, talking and screaming over I'm comments. No. It's moronic scream. Yeah, we, you'll be done with Just you, the moron. Scream and shove it up your fucking ass. Perry, stop being a baby. Stop talking and screaming over comments and stop threatening to turn off the computer. I am trying to get through this. I am almost done. Knock it off. Lying bastard. <laughs> Chicago says you're lying about being from Chicago and you don't know Lakeshore Drive. 
Is this true? I was born in Park Ridge, lived in Des Plaines, Park Ridge, Barrington, Palatine, and Arlington Heights. I lived behind the North Point Shopping Center in Arlington Heights on uh, Arlington Heights Road and Rand Road. You blithering, moronic asshole. Shut the fuck up. My address was 415 Valley Circle Drive, apartment 101. You stupid fuck. Do I have to go that far? Zip code 6, 0006. Fuck Peter yeah. my boss wanted to know how you a fat fucking lazy baboon jackass got sags. I told him you let Randy suck your cock. That's right, isn't it, you bitch hugs? I don't know you. Go away. You ate the stream that pays your bills? Would you rather be begging for 10 bucks a week? Or jerking off C-rate casting directors? Wisen up fucktard, men holding hands. <laughs> No, I didn't. I, I don't hate the stream that pays my bills. I hate you morons that keep fucking making me lose my mind. Be polite, you fucking idiots. But no. Uh, case in point, Perry. Just, just to your point right now. First of all, you're in charge of how you react to things. But here's what happens when Perry's. Uh, you know, you, you've already seen how he is to the comments that get him set off. He just did it. And here's what happens when a nice comment comes in. Perry, I love you. Your stream has gotten me through some hard times. Uh, he'll, he'll, and Perry just sits there and goes, Thank like, you. Perry would just go, Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. That's why you don't oh, get more nice comments, because you don't, because you don't give, you don't give as good as you get. You give, you give your all to the ones you scream at, but you don't give to the nice ones. That's why they don't come in as much. Well, they do, I do if, uh, I, I get them correctly. Right now, my head is going through the roof in pain. I Yes, no ready, so I'm not gonna do that Scarlett again. Johansson will be unable to work for the rest of the year due to an accident caused by her brake lines mysteriously being cut. More news at 11. What? By the way, I, I love how Sean Hannity promotes his own like newscast through our tip comments. Like that must be a new thing of how to promote. Well, like he's well, like well, like what did he cut Scarlett Johansson's break? No, no, you weren't you weren't paying attention, of course. Uh, it said Scarlett Johansson will be unable to work for the rest of the year due to an accident caused by her break lines mysteriously being cut. I guess more news yeah, at eleven. Yeah, it sounds like something that he did. <laughs> I don't think he'd be announcing it if he did it. Mysteriously cut, yeah. Idiot. I hope she's okay. Chicago Will says you made up being from Chicago to impress some guy named Randy. Is this true? Shut the fuck up! How many times do I gotta tell addresses in, world, in cities and uh, suburbs that I lived in? Goddamn motherfucking losers! Shut the Fuck up and keep me. Honey, did you see what I did to Ron DeSantis? I heard how much you hate him, so I made sure he would get into an accident. You are mine. I want nothing to do with you. You are a freak. I want you off my stream. I want you behind bars for the rest of your life. You sick, demonic freak. I am yours. No, I want nothing to do with you. And remember, I am never stepping foot in the state of Florida. Over and out. Perry will fly. Perry will fly. He loves hot air balloons. Three no weeks from LA to Tampa is not that bad way. for 15,000. Perry will fly. I don't care if you're gonna give me 100,000. I'm not flying to fucking Florida. I don't want your fucking Florida money. I don't wanna go to Flatland, Florida. It has nothing there for me but pain and misery. Flatland fucking loser state Florida. Pain and misery. This just in. Streamer Perry Caravello is announced to be engaged to marry Florida resident Casey Anthony. Congratulations to you too. Never in a zillion years. She's a murderer. She killed her own fucking family. Her children. Dumb son of a bitch. What have to do with these weirdos? I'm sorry I didn't like my ice skate, skateboard, dog. 
Whacker. I'm designing an even better dog killing tool right now. I'll send it to you I when I'm done so I can kill dog. Go away with your evil satanic worshipping Satan committing crimes. Got a neighbor yelling, dog yelling as it's cruising down the hallway with his wheelchair. And if you, <laughs> if you would have kept Nancy's board from last week, you could take care of it right now. I would never hurt the, the guy's dog. Stooge. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. Mr. Caravello, we'd like to welcome you to Florida Orange Growers Association. We placed $50,000 in an Orlando hotel room just for you for 48 hours. I don't want it. I'm not going. Thank you. Good day. Ciao. Perry, you're clearly stressed out. I'm coming over to service you to completion. Turn on the humidifiers and unlock the piss and shit patio. Men holding hands, tongue, hole. Men holding hands, tongue, hole. That is a lie beyond belief. I don't believe it as far as I can throw it. Stooge. As the PCL executive in charge of me <sighs> holding hands, I believe you forgot to say compliments about me. Apologize, say I'm great and show you our butthole, men holding hands, men holding hands. That'll never happen, loser. I don't go down that road, loser. I will never show my butthole on the air. You want me to get removed from the internet? Loser! Let us pray. Hail Satan, flare of flesh. Go we away! We answering our pleas for curses of pain and misery on Perry, who disrespects others. 666. Go away! Satan worshipping losers. All right, Perry, we've hit the halfway point in the stream. Do you want Halfway? To... Yeah, we're going to take a little break, and we'll do another five hours after that. No, I'm just Fuck kidding. you! I'm, I'm just... leaving! I'm just kidding. That was a little uh, PCL... Uh... PCL humor there. It's time for your favorite part of the stream, Perry, your plugs. Finally. Jesus Christ, finally. Visit our website for official PCL merch, PerryCarvelalive.com. Access media, share streams, phone calls, and bonus content, Patreon.com forward slash PerryCarvelo. Subscribe on YouTube, YouTube.com forward slash PerryCarvelalive. Order a Cameo, Cameo.com forward slash PerryCarvelo. Wait, stop, stop, stop. Uh, all cameos from now until Monday, 25% off. If you want the best cameo in the business, uh, yeah. Thank you. birthdays, anniversaries, uh, proposals, divorces, life advice, job advice, streaming advice, women advice, there's only one place to go to, and that's Perry Caravello on Cameo. Uh, and speaking of Patreon, Perry, uh, if you want to see Perry's great video that he shot, uh, the other day at the uh, where was that Gino's East? Uh, Gino's East to uh, talk to his uh, old co-star from Windy City Heat. Uh, get on there now. It's about forty-five minutes long. It's uh, legitimately great. Perry did it all on his own. Thank you to everybody who signed up for Patreon. Okay, Perry, continue. All right, uh, join your Facebook. Uh, join our Facebook group. Facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Perry Caravello. Share your pets. Facebook dot com forward slash groups forward slash pcl pets join the discord discord.gg dot or, or excuse me join the discord discord.gg forward slash perry caravello live follow us on twitter at p underscore c underscore l underscore official and at perry underscore caravello you'll find me occasionally on that page um if not daily sometime during the week Right now, I am suspended from this page. Follow us on Instagram at Perry Caravello Live and at Perry Caravello. I don't know why I'm suspended from that, that page, but it, it's it's ridiculous. I can't wait till I get that page back. 
Also, follow us on TikTok at Perry Carabello. Uh, if you want to have uh, Perry, if you want to, or want to have, if you want to send Perry mail, send the mail to Perry Carabello Live. 18960, 18,960, Ventura Boulevard, Box or Suite 209, Tarzana, California, 91356. Thank you, folks. Over and out. I am done. The stream is over. And I'll be a man of my word. I said earlier in the stream, because we were talking about Perry, uh, who he blocks on Twitter. Anybody who is blocked on Perry's Twitter right now, uh, just email perrycarevolive at gmail.com. Don't write a long thing. Just put your Twitter handle. It's only for Twitter. Don't, don't do it if it's some other social media. Uh, put your Twitter handle, and I'll make sure you're unblocked from Perry's uh, Twitter. Perry's going to be a little kinder with Twitter. He'll give you a warning instead of just blocking you. That's for today only. Friday, uh, uh, July 28th, East Coast time, after midnight. Uh, I'm not obligated to do anything. Uh, Perry, people will see us again on Monday for Media Strand Monday at uh, 4 p.m. Pacific. 4 now, listen, Pacific. Two, two offers that came in. We were very busy today. I didn't get to these, but here's a, a quick way for you to close with earning some easy money. There's two separate ones. I'd like you to listen, please. I know you're a, a baby and it's hard to think logically, but this is a way to make money before you leave. It'll be very easy. You don't have to do anything else. Okay? This is, I'm just going to pitch these. This is a combo offer from Sketch and Pope Thor. $30 to microwave a bowl of Skittles for three minutes. That's just three minutes. All you gotta do is microwave a bowl. You don't have to eat it. You can just throw it away right after, but that's 30 bucks. It's an easy 30 bucks. For how long? Three minutes. Super easy. That's insanity. No, Perry, 10 insanity. minutes would be insanity. Insanity. 10 minutes. Oh, Come on. Three minutes. Nice way to end. Three minutes. 30 seconds is insanity. No. It's three minutes, Perry. You can watch it. Just, let's just get the bowl. It's thirty dollars. Nice way to end. It's what we call free money. Six, 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 fucking prick. Right there's the bowl. That bag is empty. Where'd the skills go? Okay, here's right here. Uh, you get a smaller bag, Perry. I don't want you opening that whole bag. No, I've only got, I've only got three large bags. All right. Okay. All right. Smaller bag would have been better. How about that green bag? That one. Use that instead. Put the red bag back. We'll save that. Okay. This is it. Three minutes. In the microwave. I gotta be on the fucking internet for three more minutes. Hey, can you take your? Uh, it doesn't matter. I'll trust you. Just show the. Just show. Just microwave for three minutes. Come back and then show the finished product. Camera phone. Yeah, camera phone, and then you know maybe Gary can put this up later. Stop pissing. It's driving me nuts. Well, imagine how much longer the stream would have been if you took 20 pee breaks. How many times do you think you peed today in total between... I'm going to thank Gina Carano again. Thank you by all, by all God given believe Gina Carano saved me with these rearest diapers. If it wasn't for her, I would be all over the fucking place going back and forth to the bathroom. How many times do you think you peed tonight in the diaper between the two diapers? 
a minimum of about two dozen times. Yeah, it seems like it was a lot. He already, if you didn't join us earlier, he filled a diaper to completion. I killed the first diaper. After about a dozen peas, this one I pissed about six times already. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, by the way, I should mention the uh, Twitter poll that we had uh, last, uh, was it Monday? Uh, look at me saying last Monday, not last Monday, this past Monday. Uh, there was a poll that said, hey, what's your ideal start time? Uh, and I'll, I'll read the results of that poll while this is microwaving. Um, uh, none of the choices had 11, which is what we do now, but uh, the winner with 32% was 12 p.m. We'll never start at 12 p.m. Pacific on, on a Friday. Uh, we used to start at 6 p.m. on a Friday, if you can believe that, which was 9 p.m. East Coast time. Uh, the latest we'll go on a Friday is 11 a.m. Uh, but that was a, clo a very close second uh, was We Don't Care, Just Want Perry. People just don't care about the time. Uh, and then third place was 9 a.m. with a very close uh, 26%. And then a distant uh, last place was 10 a.m. at 14%. So, um, yeah. Maybe we'll go back to 9 a.m. Pacific, which is uh, noon east. But uh, right now, 11 Pacific's kind of working. How much time we got left in the microwave, Perry? Oh, 55 seconds. Okay, just show the bowl over here when you come back. And, uh, I'm recording it on the phone right now. Right. Thank you. I would usually edit that footage in, but since this stays up on YouTube, I'm not really going to bother with that. Teddy has a new toy. It's a grocery store a checkout thing that has a microphone. So if you hear uh, if you hear him bleeding into the stream, that's exactly what's going on right now. Take a look. Cutting it off. Okay. Oh, and by the way, I'll update the auction. I think those are going to be finals on the auction items, the shirt and the picture. Oh, people, somebody in the chat said, I wonder what that was. Yeah, okay. I didn't know if it was coming over the mic. But he's like, he, he loves doing checkout stuff. And he does it with, like, dinosaurs. Out to ruin my fucking bowl. Oh, okay. You could you could wash that and just come. You could put that in the sink and just come back. I wouldn't run any cold water over that so the bowl doesn't crush. That's disgusting. Can you tilt it down a little bit? Okay, cool. That's it. Okay, cool. Just you can put it in the sink and then come back here to say goodbye. And then we're done. I'm coming back on Monday. Oh, okay, good. It'll just be me, guys. All right, just Perry, just come back, please. And say goodbye. Goodbye! All right, Perry, enough. You can, whatever you're doing now, you can do when we're done, which is gonna be in minutes. So please, I, all I'm asking you to do is come back and sit down and say goodbye to your stream. Good God. And I got, uh, just, I wanna give the, um, uh, an update on the offers. So the Meat Man uh, picture you're gonna mail out and the shirt picture that Jim hustled for you, you're gonna get, I think it's 150 f for the shirt. 120 for the uh, picture. Maybe I got that reversed. Maybe it's the other way around. Uh, also, Perry, the guy who's buying the picture, he's going to give you an extra $15 for the picture. All you got to do is kiss the frame. Can you just grab that picture and kiss it? That'll get you an extra 15 bucks. Yes. Yes, the frame. The picture with the frame. I'm keeping this one. Yeah, no, it's that one. That one. You this one? It. Yeah, just kiss it for an extra 15 bucks. 15. All right, there you go. And I got one last offer, Perry. 
You would be foolish. God to... damn! God damn! You want to give me more money? I hate you. Yeah, Perry. This this offer is eighty five dollars. So this is the last thing I'm gonna say. Okay? You can put that down. Jeez. You can you can throw that away. Just I need to. God damn! I don't send me any more money. I hate making money. All right, one twenty for the shirt, one fifty for the picture. Jim corrected me. Thanks. That is a sale. Uh, uh, final auction closed. Uh, Perry will not throw those away. Okay, this is a combo from Matt C. and Mark Lang. Okay, Matt's putting up 15, Mark's putting up 70. It's a total of 85. And this is it. So this is yeah. this, because this is the end of the stream, this is the last thing, this would get you 85. I'll tell you what. I'm going to throw in $15 for $100 total, Perry, that you can walk away with. All you got to do is take, take off your glasses... And remember the cake you got earlier from 7-Eleven? I'm not smashing the cake in my face. That's exactly what it is. All you got to do... No, no, it, it, no, actually, no, it doesn't... no, 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 no fucking way will that ever happen. Okay, if you could me. take a break from landing the plane, I just want to read the whole thing. It's not smashing your face. All, it's slowly sink your face into the cake. Now listen, Perry... No! Right, but... Never! And will that ever happen with me? Never! Wait, I, we all know that you're not a very intelligent person, I'm but... I'm not doing it, you fucking losers! No fucking way! For $100, you could take a shower immediately after? No fucking way! For a billion dollars, baby, a billion, yeah! But now, no, 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 fuck all he is! That's how, you're gonna, that's how you're gonna end the stream? Yeah. Right. Okay. Why don't you admit to everybody that you're not a snowboarder, you've never been in the snow, you can't stand I'm without dying. falling down... Uh, do, let's play that video again. Thanksgiving Day, you cunt! I'm in the snow Thanksgiving no, Day! You, won't. you want to fucking swear more, 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 You won't more, be in the snow. You won't be in the snow. You know how you'll be in the snow? You'll be in there head first. Fucking Monday, I don't want to see you another week! You'll be in the snow head first with your feet sticking out. That's how you'll be in the snow, because you're not a snowboarder. You don't know how to snow. You don't, you don't know how to snowboard. I don't even think you know how to ski. You say you're a skier, but you're not a snow skier oh, either. No way. These goddamn humidifiers are the worst fucking thing ever. Christ. You should keep those. Fucking things. Son of a bitch. Ugh. Hey, Attention see you Monday, everybody. Fans. Have a the great weekend. Will continue Peace after your quick performance by the scare master himself, aka Scary Perry Caravello. I hail from Shy Town, so you know I'm a good fan. No. No. Fun fact: that crap rap set Perry back five hundred bones. In nineteen ninety-two, a penny saver had Perry working harder than he's ever had. What? He'll do That was a jerk off. Not a blow job. You're not allowed in my apartment. With the blood stains on the carpet. That was a long, 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 long time ago. But you know, I could not become a star. star. You did not come so far. Far, far, far. Stop! Collaborate. Look, listen. Very bad. With a which reinvention. Sometimes love isn't enough. It takes time, hard work, and a little bit of. Welcome. The best things in my life are free, like my streams. My dignity and the MVP, Tom B. Thanks. Dark side Phil. Keep begging, asshole. Dipshit Phil. He's going down. Who the fuck is Perry Caravello? Don't be dumb, you lying clown. Get the fuck away from my patio. Get the fuck away from my chair. I'm so confused. You suck. Kind of like you did it in 92. Shut up. In 1992, a penny saver at Perry Schmuck to steal any more dough! Harry, enough! What now? I got an offer in. Oops, pay what? attention.
$19.92. Microwave Cadenza, $6.66. Lock him, lock him, lock him, lock him! I never said a hail Satan! Look here, listen, lose the tattoo. You're not a snowboarder out there. You I'm not removing my tattoo, tough shit! Shut up, you son of a bitch! Ha ha, the stream is getting hacked. I really hope Perry doesn't hurry back. Ha ha, ha ha ha, ha ha. Saver Ed, at there we working harder than he's ever had. He'll do anything for fame, including that. Perry, Blue Randy, and that's a band. 